All right, we're good. Be like, uh, busting with the boys. Bussin' with the boys. Bro. Roland? Yeah. Roland. Welcome to another episode of Bussin' with the Boys. This is episode almost 300. Are the Huskers back? We will talk about that in a minute. But first, if you are watching on YouTube, please, for the love of God, subscribe. If you're listening on audio, make sure you're following the boys on Spotify, Apple, Google, everything in between. And your boys, in the intro, we will be doing... We'll be recapping the weekends. We have the show, The Locker Room, that is now on Thursday mornings at 6 a.m. releasing, where we will preview the weekend, talk majority of our football. We have an awesome guest, Nick Merckx, uh, on deck today. He's going to be at the bus here in a minute. But first, our presenting sponsor, the Chevy Silverado. There is a reason we've never done a tier talk for best pickup trucks, and that's because busting with the boys, there's only one pickup truck for us, and that is the Chevy Silverado. Why is that, you ask? Because Silverado is a partner, a partner you can depend on. We've all spent time driving and using the Silverado for all kinds of adventures and other shenanigans. Silverado was a partner with us on the spring tour. They are also a partner with us on the fall tour. They bring grit, legendary grit paired with modern truck tech inside and out, massive screens, up to eight cameras with 14 Listen to me, 14 different views to help make strong driving, towing, and parking all easier. We love the bold, blacked out look of the all new Silverado HD Trail Boss. Your boy has a blacked out ZR2. There's a reason Chevy is America's most awarded brand for new vehicle quality over the last three years, according to JD Power. So head over to Chevy.com, build your own Silverado or Silverado HD, and check out all the other Silverados on the market. Discover a world of strength and capability all behind the wheel of our favorite truck, the Chevy Silverado. It's received the highest total number of awards compared to all of their brands in the JD Power 2022 to 2024 U.S. initial quality studies. Just visit jdpower.com slash awards for more details. What a weekend. Boys, we had an iconic weekend of getting to, shout out Twisted T for allowing the boys to fly private, eat wings on the plane from Mr. Spots out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. We got to go to Michigan, Texas. Then we hopped on the bird to make uh, Colorado and Nebraska, flew out the next morning. It truly was, dude, I mean, it was, it's going to be the mo one of the more memorable weekends we look back on one day, just knowing all the boys got to hit two headlining games. Taylor, I do wish Michigan would have pulled it off. That was the only con to the entire thing. How, how uh, you look. You look rough right now, bro. How can we? Well, I'm not rough, Will. Thank you for asking. Um, I actually feel pretty good. Uh, before the show started, <laughs> Sherman gave me an eight milligram Lucy. And currently, I'm getting fucked up by it right now. Uh, my heads are in the cloud. I'm feeling very loose. Very loose. And as you were saying all those words for that Chevy podcast, I thought to myself, do I take it out? Do I not? You might throw up. Whatever. Yes. Michigan lost. Yeah. And for years, I mean... I don't think Mitch remembers the last time Michigan did lose a regular season game. I don't think any of us really do. And so when you win, it's not the best teacher. It doesn't teach you how to keep success going. Eventually you have to lose because losing, unfortunately for anybody who's played any competitive, anything. Sorry. Oh, we're here. We got him here. Nick, oh, per here. Nick, Nick come it's on. Perfect timing. Too, perfect. You're just, we're three minutes into our intro. Get on. Introducing Nick Merckx. Come on, we man. Had, we had the What's smoke up, machine dog? going. Huh? Holy What's shit. up, brother? Get in, in here. Bro. We got yeah. you a seat. Are we getting right into it? Dad, get right in. Sit on, down. Man. Papa Merck. Oh, I was hoping he'd come. Oh, Papa Merck. I was hoping he'd come. <laughs> come on, man. Oh, oh, I was telling yeah, Will. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Traveling, man. Dude, yeah, that's what we were just recapping. Are you sure? Come see what the boys are doing. One take a note for an answer. Got the twist tea on, man. What's up, boys? What's up, brother? How are we, man? Living, man. Living, living. It's the hot seat. 
Yeah. yeah, give me uh, one second to recollect my thoughts. Okay, my bad. I'm high on a Lucy right now. <laughs> you let me get let me get yeah. dialed in. Like I was saying, came at a perfect time. We're breaking down Michigan. Oh God. So so when you win, <laughs> when you win so much, the world gets used to you winning. The regular season, people feel it all the time. Like, yep, another Michigan Saturday. Michigan's gonna win. Oh, Michigan's away. They're gonna win. With that. You stop you stop knowing the feeling what loss is. You stop understanding why you play the game because you win all the time. What makes the win so great? Anybody? The losses. Because when you know what it's like to lose, the winning, the feeling that Will Compton has right now, it wouldn't be anything if it wasn't for the last 10 years of his life. If they just stopped over everybody every single day, beating Colorado 50 billion to zero, it'd be like, yep, another day at the office. But because Will's done the trials and tribulations, he understands these boys, the, you only get so many opportunities every fall and you got to make the most of them. Now your team's sitting at 2-0 and and you guys are in the top 25. That's incredible. Now Michigan. <sighs> He's feeling good. He feeling He's feeling good. Really good. Really He's right feeling right. good. <laughs> Losing uh, is the best teacher you can have. Uh -huh. It's the best teacher because now when we get back to winning, it's going to make it that much more of a better feeling. You're going to walk in those Saturdays because I guarantee you, them boys, when they when they won the last couple of years, it's kind of like, yeah, we knew we were going to win. Mm. Of course we knew we were going to win. Blake Corm, he's been eating corn his whole life. <laughs> that, those types of mentality, that kind of arrogance. That, you could that's feel a it teacher. In, his, in his hype video for Michigan. That was a tough I one. I DM'd him and said, you couldn't motivate me to get out of bed, bro. That was a tough one. I hope the boys pull it up a little bit because it mm. was, you got to have some fluctuation in your voice when you do it. Yeah. Do I think Michigan's dead? No. Are we as good as we were last year? No. But guess what? That's what happens when you leave your lose your uh, head coach, your DC, your DB's coach, Everybody. your wide receiver coach, your okay. head strength coach, and 18 players to the draft. You're going to have a step, uh, take a little step back. Now, Sharon Morris, he's the right guy to have in there. You're going to keep, keep that boat motoring. You got five new offensive linemen. They're going to continue to gel. They didn't have the best game, but I will say this. I thought protection was pretty good. And if Colson Loveland Hit, uh, catches that ball in stride that Warren missed him on in the second quarter, might be talking about a whole different game. We might be talking about a Longhorn loss. That's what we might be talking about. He's now, right? He's going, horseshoes, wow. horseshoes and hand grenades, right? Beautiful. Close doesn't cut it in the game of football. It doesn't fucking cut it. So we're just going to keep on moving forward. We got our Kansas State coming up this week at home. Thank God. Love that you love that you called it our Kansas. Because that's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. Is it Kansas? Yes. At an AR? Or Kansas. Yeah, see? Boom. Done. We'll play them. They're 28 and a half point mm -hmm. favorites. I don't know if we're covering that, but I know that dub's coming. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to cover that, <laughs> we, but the boys need to continue boy. to gel. They mm -hmm. need to continue to gel. Here's what I'll say about the trip. Uh, so we were just breaking down our trip. <laughs> yeah. Nikki. Got that. We're right. We were able to fly. We were able to, right we were able to fly private from <laughs> weird flex from Nashville. I've seen that. But it's necessary. It's flex. It's necessary. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's only a flex if you're not don't have gratitude behind yeah. it. And it was an epic, an epic 27 hours. Right. Go from Nashville to Ann Arbor, Ann Arbor yeah. to Lincoln, next morning, Lincoln to Nashville. Wings on the, on the That's what I'm saying. Because I thought to myself, I'm like, Dude, I want to interject, but I, he's cooking right now. So I'm going to let him, I'm going to let him cook. I was thinking right. to myself like, do I post about the private jet? And then, I, then quickly, I was like, "Fuck yes, you do!" Like, yeah, we, yeah. We, we don't do this every week. We're eating wings from Mister Spots on the private right, jet, right, flying right. in Lincoln. I'm surprised had you had cream. that thought process. We had ice cream waiting for us. Emotional ice cream. Yeah. Emotional yeah, ice cream. Yeah, yeah. You, I, I told Will, you really needed that. But yeah. we were flying back. He's like, "Hey, the driver just asked if we could pick anything up." I was like, oh, "I go ice cream, vanilla, <laughs> yeah. caramel, sprinkles, chicken Ended wings, and ice floor. cream." Right? Yeah. Oh, w yeah, man. Ate my feelings the entire time. Needed that. Needed that. Because it is like people do get weird about the whole posting about a private jet. If you get on a private jet, it's an experience. It's an experience. Yeah, man. And what are we on social boys? media to not show experiences? All of a sudden that's right. the line. Well, you got that's the, wave, fucking, you got that's the crazy. wave of influencers that would go and just rent a space that looked like a private jet and would flex about it. And yeah. I think people were onto that. Right. Oh, that's a thing. I think you like know, a fake bro, you private lived in jet. California. You, you did it a couple of times. No, 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 yeah, no, no. Yeah, Real yeah. deal. Holy field pops. Yeah. Remember we used to, we, we would do the PJ to the helicopter. Yes, sir. Oh, who's flexing now? Yeah, who's some flexing weird now? flex type shit, bro. That's we went whoa, bang to bang to bang. Yeah. PJ yeah. to a helicopter is a weird transition. Usually it's helicopter to PJ. What well, we were you doing? We went, from the, we went from the big island to like the, the big island to the little island. So you got to dang, 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 yeah. pop, you know, and then you're yeah. on the beach. It's fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What islands are we talking about here? Oh. Billionaire's Playground? St. Bart's, man. Yeah, That's I heard about St. Right Bart's. Bro. 
Mm. I had a weird thing about aviation. I know that little landing strip when you kind of go down. It's like Dude, one of the most dangerous landing strips It looks like you're going to go right and then you just duck in. You're like, oh, oh woo, okay. Yeah. That's good though. It's cool. a little twin prop going it's in there. It's worth it, man. It's worth it. Yeah? Oh, the food. It? The, yeah, it is worth it. Do they got Mr. Spot's wings there? No. <laughs> you can get some, chicken, worth you it? Need some chicken wings over here. Bro, billionaire chicken wings got to be ass. <laughs> no, There's good. no way billionaires make good. good. Everything's no. good, bro. Trust. Oh, my. It That's cool, beautiful. though. I'm happy you took your boys in a PJ, man. That experience had to be fucking nuts, man. Dude, it was, it was all awesome. time. And it at least awesome. we ended the day on a, okay. on a high. Because, uh, uh, dude, oh. if if both teams would have lost, don't ever get out of PJ again. No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't ever go You're PJ flying again. back at the plane on the way home. Commercial. Yeah, yeah, Commercial. We might even walk back. Well, crazy, man. Nick, how are you feeling about what you saw from Michigan? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm oh, down, pops I'm down horrible, man. Yeah, Pops is down horrible. It's all bad. Oh, is that the Pete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. St. Bart's. Yeah. Saint Dad, Bart's. you're a big Michigan guy, too? He coached, man. He coached hey, get the, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get the, the yeah. mic. Yeah, yeah. How do you Post. guys feel about watching the Michigan Wolverines Same on Saturday? Taylor. Because I feel you guys lost a lot. No, but no, if, he, look, he, if he, you look back, Georgia, they had 15 draft in 2022 before they repeated in 23. So the it's like the fall from being on top of the world it just feels like that's not a an, an outfit you're happy about putting out there hold on up week two. don't be don't, optimistic no, no. on the podcast you got to be real keep no, it no, real. no no but before well, you keep it on, real on, before, keep it before real. you keep it real understand this georgia alabama those teams get five stars every single day right. we are a three we get the three stars and the four stars and a sneaky couple fives from down south <laughs> and then we develop those cats so <laughs> no. the drop off it's that's got, a, let it be real we sweep that out of the way way over here and you know we're used to seeing Corum and 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 JJ McCarthy, all of them, man. You know, even on the our defense, Sam was still in all right. these guys make their plays, and then and then they're not there this year. Yeah, and the, the, the smallest coach is being exploited this year, and it's just we're not used to that. It's, it's tough, how man. were you feeling on Saturday? Because I've you're, you're holding good. a lot in right now. I yes. gotta hear. I gotta feel. It. This is a pod where you feel your emotion. I actually, I actually, I actually kind of left for a while and walked around. Yeah, he gets a little sad. You know what I mean? He gets, he gets but we can beat up for bro. Look, look, hey man, you gotta you gotta live off that championship. They don't come around often. Come on, no, they don't. championship. We're still the fucking reigning defending champions. Eat a dick, bro. You know what I mean? Sorry, if you, cut the, I'm, it, saying, it, I'm it, saying no, eat you know? it. They can fucking eat it all they want, right? And until until there's a new champion, it's it's us. Right? Yeah, so I'm that's good somebody about that. who listened to the Portnoy video, and he's like, "He's right. We are defending." Portnoy's a goat, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, by, yeah. by the way, what are you? How? What's it? Are, are you and him like? You, you guys are cool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because we're talking about that yeah. shit too, man. That, okay. Well, I talked about. Well, sometimes, stuff. sometimes I feel like he he loves you, but he hates you. It's crazy. For sure. It's, yeah. It's, all, it's like it's part this of the weird game. thing. It's yeah. his love language. Yeah. He loves to be mean. Okay. He yeah. loves to try to get under your skin. He likes to get you going, get you active. Yeah. yeah Dave be, openly and calls he enjoys you a the dumb retard. But he gets on then, this guy. Yeah. Well, he okay. does. He gets on you, CT, bro. It's like, a, you know, it's like the easiest <laughs> card to pull when something happens. <laughs> right? but you just got to eat. Uh, uh, yeah. You're not going to make every play. What, what, oh, what so did Rocky say? Jack pull all this stuff up right here? What did Rocky say? It's not about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Don't do that. That's yeah. what it's like We're when you're really working early with, in the pod for like cringy, like cringy. <laughs> yeah, it's a cringy. It's cr it's too too early in the pod. By the way, you know what I love about this pod? When you move, I feel you move, man. Like, yeah, I, yeah. That's just the vibration like, of my we're passion. On the bus, bro. That's the like, passion. We're, like we're really in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're actually on the bus. Yeah, like if you get hype, I'm gonna feel it. Like, Look at that. You that's see, how you know. On cue. Right, right. On cue. Oh, come back. Yeah, dude. It was a tough game. It was a tough game on Saturday. Got it. It was a tough game Saturday at noon. Boys didn't look good. We there's have not, to there's talk not a, There's about. not a whole lot of whole, uh, to hang our hat on as far as like, we can get excited because of X, Y, and Z. Kicker, got a good kicker. We got a damn good kicker, right? I don't think anybody in the nation's best with our kicker. But You got to stop, man. We're going to lose hey, half our games right this year. Now? Here's my, here's my We're number. We're going to lose half the games this year. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just being real. You can't go with this whole we're the national champions okay. until I know until it the was end a great year. year, but but if we're looking at this one, man, we we can't score points. We can't score points. That quarterback's not ready yet. The offensive line's not ready yet. Yeah, they'll gel throughout the year, but we're gonna lose to Ohio State. We're gonna lose to MSU. We're gonna lose to Penn State. We're gonna lose to Oregon. Illinois. We might even lose to Illinois. Erroneous. Listen, we're going to lose. We're going to lose. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever Come heard. Come back to this pot. Look, it, it, part of being a fan is you got to be real, man. Like, no, that's Just not, expect, like, no. expect it to be bad. That was really bad. Every week you got to go in thinking you're going to win as a fan. Here's the problem. Michigan fans are like you. Because when we, we had to leave the game earlier, we knew that going into it. So in the third quarter, we did leave. And as we're leaving, traffic's bad Wait, as if the game early? ended. 
We had, we had to. to make the. We had to we make had the flight. The that was already uh, a predetermined. Pre- it was already a predetermined. It truly was. The game was tight. Taylor, Taylor wanted to. Taylor wanted to stay the entire time, and yeah. even leading up right. to the point where we were like, "Hey, we I'm we do sure got to get going." Did, you know? right. Time out. Which to game give, am I looking at? To give Taylor, to give Taylor credit. This the entire at Wait, first my... like a couple months ago it was going to be all Nebraska that day like that was the game we we're going to go to Nebraska then we were going to go to what was it it's just hanging in front of Michigan the USC yeah yeah we were going to go to Michigan USC and split it up but once we combined them it was like hey the 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 priority was always Nebraska on week two Nebraska Colorado <laughs> so when we snuck that in and figured out how to do it he he I... wanted to stay the whole game and I was like bro we cannot yeah, we yeah have you to have be like, if you want to be positive here today bro Nebraska kind of looks. They, they look good. They kind of look good, dude. They look good. They kind of look good. And here's... We interrupt this episode to bring you game time. Football season is here, and we can't wait to get out some, to some games this fall with the help of Game Time, the official ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. You know how much the boys love game time. Now with their brand new Game Time Picks feature, they're making it even easier to get to a game. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. Your boys, we were looking at... What upcoming games do we got this weekend? This weekend, we got... And what's that? Titans home, Titans home opener. And then also the week after that, USC Michigan, which I might take my daughter I to. I know. I mean, USC Michigan is going to be a fucking awesome game. Yeah. Just pull out your chosen event and turn on the GT pick setting at the top of the screen at the top of the screen or browse the best local game time picks deals near you on your game time app homepage. What are you waiting for? I'm going to buy those home opener tickets to the Titans this weekend with game time picks. Download the game time app today and use code Bussin to easily score great deals with the new game time picks. What time is it? Game time. Back to the zip. Listen, not a quarterback. They got, it. they got it all, man. They got they got a good defense. You, you know, you, you you had them people fired up, man. Fired up, bro. They were fired up. You saw the little that that. Oh my stands are going nuts, bro. I need to feel you. I need to feel you. Hey, the call the back. Go shit, big red. They do the, the stadium back, lost bro, of the mind. go big red. I was truly like one of the greatest feelings of my life. Fuck yeah. Because I, I mean, that, we way, all man, Husker cool. fans cool. just lay it on the line. And like Taylor was saying earlier, for the last decade, like this it's, place wants something, a good product to root for. Yeah, and it yeah. seems like the culture that Coach Rule's building mm. and just the engagement they, that they had from the first quarter through the fourth quarter, like the songs they're playing, the stuff they're putting up, like even the little hamster in the fourth quarter to keep everybody engaged. God, the hamster's so and fucking no, everybody funny. Everybody just dialed in, like the optimism and the juice right now in Sweet. the city is real. Hell and yeah. Custer fans all over the country. And, you and know, that's what everybody's fired up about. Like, yes, we're two and zero. Oh, mm. We're all we got our, got our chest out. We're smiling. We're feeling good. Mm. But it's like more than that. It's like it. We've been down for a minute, and we know that we have a brand that you can root for and believe yeah. in if you just get the right guys, the right coach, yeah. the right players. And it I like feels that like that's building up. So there's like a lot more coach. pride outside of just being two and zero. Oh. It's just that you're feeling it all come together for mm. real. Mm-hmm. There was a couple passes in the game where Rayola kind of missed the guy or the dude dropped it. Anything Rayola did, you could just hear it was me and Will kind of joking about it, but also mm-hmm. everyone around's like, man, he's just got it. One of his offensive linemen fell on the ground. And he like ran up and helped him out. Everyone's like, see, team guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're going, small shit, small as, shit. Uh, as halftime, like guys are running in, Rayola's walking. He looks at his receiver and say, hey, stay here. Okay. Stay here. As he's walking, it's just like, I kids saw, walking up, kids are freshmen I saw walking his team out. Him and the coach, the, mm-hmm. he wanted to go for it. And the coach was like, no, 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 come on. He goes, no, come on, let's, let's go for it. And the coach was like, get, get over here. And then he goes, calm down, calm down. The kid, the kid wanted to go for it, man. Yeah, yeah. It was like, he's, he's, I forgot how much yeah. they needed, man. He's but he got, was ready to go. He's, he's, he's hungry, man. He's getting dangerous towards, like, kind of creepy with his Patrick Mahomes stuff, though. He's yeah. got somebody it's he looks yeah. up to and yes, loves, Yes, man. but even the pregame game, jump. You got to have somebody. Have you seen the clip of him him and right. Mahomes right next to each other and Mahomes is doing his, He's right, go. though. He's right, and he does the same thing. It's the same, same thing. thing. I know. It's the I'm same dress. He's inspired. He's inspired. He's inspired. He's inspired. He's inspired. Okay. But he, I'll say a little positive. If he does yeah. this, if he does this, he's going to end up in a Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant situation <laughs> where he can never be the GOAT now because he he basically did the same thing as his guy. Look at this. Watch this clip. This that's those, both, say, aren't Patrick, it, those both aren't Patrick Mahomes. Wait, are they the same number? Same number. Yeah. Oh god, that makes us so now much the worse. kids. The kids That's are stunned. North Star, man. All right, no all question. Right. Yeah, true. no question. You had your you had your poster in your. And room, I mean, Patrick Mahomes is the greatest quarterback like... in the league right now, right? Oh, one thousand. Yeah, yeah. He's he's close. the baby goat right now at his stage of his he's career. He's the only he's one than that Tom can was. maybe take down Tom. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, right yes. now in the league, right now, yes. in this many years in the league, yeah. and Tom, they, you can pair those side by side. Pat is better. Oh, he's he's beating him out right now. Right now, no way. Super Bowls. 
I stats, think completion I mean, percentage, yeah, dude, he's touchdowns, just dominated versus that AFC for so long. It's scary. It's scary, and you kind of got the Josh Allen's, the Lamar Jacksons, the Joe Burrows. Those are they going to go again? Those guys are kind of like are the new Peyton again? Mannings in a way, where it's like you got to beat yeah. Pat or Tom Brady, yep. and you know they they're going to get theirs. They they're I hope get they there? do. I hope they do. We it'll be the first. It'll on. be the first team. We got to back up for a second because we just we we glossed over it. Yeah, I'll go back to it. There's no fucking way we're losing to Michigan State. You got to stop with that talk. Is that what you were talking about glossing over? No. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You cannot go and just start peppering. We're going to lose. I think you said Penn State. We don't even play Penn State this year. Like we're just, you just start glossing yeah. over all I'm these just things. throwing names. I'm throwing Dog, names out. You, yeah, yeah. You, you, got you don't to feel just throw some shit. I just don't yeah. feel good. Listen, right. we've lost a lot of guys and there's a lot of development to happen, but Sharon Moore is the guy. What I don't like, here's what I don't like. Wink came from the Giants. I played Wink multiple times. When he was with the Giants and in other places, the exotic blitzes and all those things, it's great when you're playing a quarterback that can't dissect a defense the way that I, I keep fucking up his Quinn last name. Ewers. Quinn Ewers. Yeah, it is the a way weird he last did. Name, right? But if you if you throw those, like you need to sometimes you just need to go man. I mean, he's the best quarterback two. in college football right now, right? He's, he's impressive. It's he's an impressive cat. Look Dylan, at this. Dylan's up. That's yeah, you, you were, right now. No, that's that was you. me on Saturday. Yeah, but, but you now gotta, no, you get in the sauna, you have a fucking iced tea, and you're back. But you that you got to remember that's what it was. That's what it was, was past tense. Now we got to look towards the future. And I'm not, listen, am I going to sit here and say, we're going to for sure win the Natty? No, but we can sit there and say one loss teams can still go to the playoffs. It's a 12 team oh, playoff. One loss. But you're, you're putting the cart before the horse. You're just putting L's in our, our category. Right now, there's only one. Okay? okay. Right now, there's only one. And we got our Kansas State next week. Let's let's go. Let's and we go, got another let's muffin. Let's go around the bus and let's just everybody say how many losses on the season. Let's just for not. fun. No, that's not fun. Are no, you a Michigan fan? Are you a Michigan yeah, fan? Yeah, are you I just want to hear the thoughts, man. I just want to hear the schedule. Pull up the schedule. Yeah, let's show. just go around the bus, man. You know. You know how hard it is to take a video for a minute and a half and flex that hard the whole time. <laughs> you know how hard it is to do that. <laughs> and you're that? looking good, though, man. Thanks, brother. That, yeah. I was doing the trap, especially thing. after that loss. You know, it, 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 right? I know. You, my hair, my hair is telling you we lost. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. The song and the T's got you back in the game, though. Yeah, you get You're back, back at bro. You're you back. back. Sure, and we can get the schedule. And I appreciate the now, optimism. Let's not. Let's focus on not being nasty. All right, let's focus on. It's not listen, optimism. Just me, if we say a loss, it doesn't mean nasty. It's no, like no, no, no. But if you're the go, first couple weeks, yeah, we just not. Like, I would say you guys, your assholes, should be tight against USC. Yep. Illinois. Stop. Oregon. Dude, I'm bro, Illinois is is not like they beat it's Kansas. not a walk in the park. Yeah, Kansas is ranked and they have a good team, bro. Like we have Illinois in two weeks, and that's not a game I am sleeping on. Bro, they gotta go out to to, to the to the northwest too, man. At Washington. I mean, no, they're not, it's not the uh, same team, but we're not either, right? It's that might be a hard game. Yeah. At Washington? True. Kind of first away game, too. First away game. Coast, first away yes. game. I'm just saying that we have a really hard schedule. And to lose to Texas the way we did at home. Like I, see five, five, I see five losses super and Taylor, that, possible here. That's what, I, that's what I wanted to go back to. Like defending national champions, the high that Michigan fans were on yeah. for the majority of that stadium to leave. It was gross. Early in the third wait, that, quarter. Wait, that actually happened? No, yeah, that was, that's what that I was, was real. About. Oh, I didn't know that. You were waiting to talk next. Shitloads I was to tell you of people leaving the stadium. Okay, I'm good. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm I'm good. And <laughs> as good as, and you know he's ruined my day a couple times on College Football 25. Mason Ooh. Graham, Graham Mason, oh, Mason yeah. Graham, yeah. Mason Graham, some of his body language, like <laughs> as one of the best players on the team Graham, and, and a leader, some of his body language was not exciting. Yeah. It was tough contrast. Walking, that guy's an animal though. He's no, an animal. It was, it, no, well, he, you, you need your animals to be corralling cats. Like, you know, you remember Aiden double Hutchinson? the whole time, bro. That tux, that offensive line. I mean, you, you, I mean, you, you know, but they the played players. so good. They, they got a kid. So they good. got a kid that might They're be a first big, round pick. It big. just, it seemed like they big. were calling it in, man. Yeah. 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 It seemed yeah. like they were packing it in, walking to the sideline. And that's just me being real about it. Like I, I think that kid is a stud. I didn't like, I didn't like Mason Graham's energy. Uh, there was one where it's like second quarter. Texas was on the other side of the field, away from the student section, and it's second quarter, and they called a timeout, and they start walking over. Defense kind of jogs over. And Mason was walking, and that bothered me. Defense is huddled and up. Mason's after, by himself outside of the after halftime. I walk back. He's on the bike. Just, I, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. little things. I walk past. I mean, you him, guys he's on the would bike. know, man. You've been in those huddles. I, I you know. It just it, you brought up a good great point during the game. Aiden Hutchinson would have been. Losing his fucking mind, and then the, the tough yeah, contrast last was, night. By the way, God, just every play all over the place. I'm yeah. sorry, I just, I just love. Well, hey, listen, we've said on this podcast, white guys are making a comeback. Yeah, I <laughs> love sports. your, I love your team. The 
all white the team, black yeah. versus white yeah i love that I'll yeah i think we're getting cooked December. but it's but it's it's getting better yeah there's some good stuff to be out. alex anzalone yeah, yeah. he yeah. was catching my eye everywhere last night. yeah he was everywhere yeah but i'm building that up that'll a lot come of blonde hair December. a lot yeah, of blonde, a lot blonde hair, on the team. hair yeah yeah yeah. it's pretty yeah. crazy now, now the yeah. contract contrast between mason graham and then number nine which i don't remember his name for nebraska yeah ty ty mm -mm. so this kid number nine for, for nebraska he was playing like a you got bat the polar out bear. of hell the end. like they'll hold that no, no no he's He's like a nose three technique yeah, type yeah. of guy. But the kid was just playing with his hair on fire the entire day. High energy. You love that, man. Keeping the guys around him. You it, and it was it was it's tough for me to admit, but you watched Michigan, the energy didn't seem there. And then the perfect contrast was an hour and a half later I'm in Nebraska and I'm watching a Nebraska team that seems like they're playing for a national championship. And it seemed like every snap mattered to them, every single moment. And I didn't I I didn't necessarily feel that after the first couple of series. Well, let me Michigan. ask you two a question because you guys play NFL, you play college, high level, the highest level you can play. When your team changes a lot, you go from having a stacked team to then having like, you know, you got a lot of guys that left. It's going to be really, really different. You prepare for this game, but you know the team you're going against is damn good. Do you know you're going to lose? I think it's different. Hold on. Is there, is there ever a game that you know you're going to lose? There no, not a game you go in thinking we're going to lose this right. game. You go in knowing that, you know, this is going to be a tough, a tough team. Okay, so maybe after like the first quarter, do you start kind of like, uh, that, maybe the that first for drive? Sure, like, uh, for sure. When Michigan, those thoughts you, It felt like in. that team knew that it was about to be a long day. That's what I'm asking. I mean, similar like even last year. That's with, what you guys uh, are when, saying. You're saying Michigan they were... was killing us against uh, Nebraska. It's like yeah, that second your, your series. Your boys quit. Your boys quit. Once first, that yeah. tip pass happened, it's like, oh, here we go again. You kind of just get used to it. But what's surprising is that you go from a national title team. Like the culture there is still a culture. Like Sharon Moore, it, he was an internal upgrade or he was an internal hire. Mm -hmm. So the same culture is there. Like when you're a young guy seeing everybody else play well, like you can't wait for your opportunity the next year. Like, yeah, you might feel like fans might feel like you're down in talent, but as an individual, you don't think like you're a lapse yeah. in talent. You just think, oh, now it's my time. Like that's word. how you train all off season. Yeah, you're like, yo, word. this is my moment. Right. I think when you I think when you're in college, you drink the Kool-Aid so much. Like when I was at Michigan, we were oh nine to thirteen. We we were not a bad team. We never won the games we shouldn't win, but we never lost the games we should lose. Well, we yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah, I got you. So anyway, um, but you go to all of these dog. games. Yeah, you go to all these games and you're like, yo, we're gonna do we're gonna dominate ball ball. As you get in the NFL and you get older, and you start to see the talent level on teams, like you kind of realize, like, okay, we got to play really well to beat this team. Yeah, I guess NFL. Yeah, NFL. You might, NFL, you might chalk up yeah. some let back half. Where you you're might like, look yeah, at him and be like, all right, right, we might drop but, this one. Week, oh no way! Yeah, yeah. week it's ten, business, not in college, business decisions. Though, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Week I ten, I remember week ten, like 2019, we were playing Kansas City at mm -hmm. home, and I remember being like, hey, no way, like we got to play with our hair on fire. Like Kansas City was on such a uh, such a roll. They're up 10-0 after the first quarter, and we came back and won that game. And that's when we had a, a big run. But that was like one of the only few games I was like, man, I don't know about this one. Yeah, because okay. you guys started off two and four. Yeah, we started off tough. And we were yeah. just, you know, not really gelling as a team. But here's what bugs me about Michigan the most. They've got talent. They're lacking in a couple of very key areas right yeah, now. Yeah, right. That's, that's what, that's very, what very that's key what areas. Yeah. But they've got talent. Like when I when I they watch, I also defense. I also Bro, when hate, I watch I hate when the I watch two quarterback Nebraska, thing, man. I, I really fucking I mean, anytime hate. Anytime where'd you go? Dude, I hate, dude, I hate it too. It's like, I, I, no, I, I know the two that. quarterback thing is just the stupidest fucking thing. It's not. It's it doesn't work, man. It, when does it work? It no, doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, to a tongue of Iloa. Uh, Wait, for like a play I mean no he was won the national they, they, title Jalen, Jalen Hurts was in they benched hurt? him for two uh, no they no, benched they, him they benched and they put him in during the national championship and came back and won off. No, but that's, not, but that's not. But that's not. That's not what I'm you're talking right. about. You're talking about balancing two. Throughout I'm talking the game. about playing yeah. two yeah, two yeah, quarterbacks yeah. like on purpose throughout the game. Fuck yeah. that, man. Alex Orgy goes in. They, they, they all know what we're doing, and then we do it every time. <laughs> yeah. The fuck? I now, know. Bro, I know what he's doing. My grandma had knows a what third and one. We had a third and one in the red zone. She was so annoying. And man. Orgy, Orgy came in. They call a timeout. Orgy goes back out. He sends a guy in motion, direct snap, and then runs forward for like a two yard loss. In my mind, I was like. What the fuck are we doing? That's when the yeah, the, the same, angry fan of me came out, same. Is this, and I was like, bro, can we yeah. not? Yeah, yeah. Can we not not do that? But like, it's tough, man. Like this Davis Warren kid, you know, he's gone. He's beat leukemia. He walked on. He went to starting job. He's got a hell of a story, and he can throw the ball a little bit. But he's just he's just missing guys right now. Story's not enough. Story's, story's not, story's enough, not enough. And we heard about the story the entire orgy, game. Orgy, man. orgy like, I mean, I, I, I haven't it, seen man, him but... throw enough to know whether he can throw it or not. Now there was a couple against Fresno State where he rolls out. He has a guy open, throws it at his feet. And it's just like it's just something's just not gelling right now. 
but there's talent on that team. And here's why the defense. Is here's why th- this talented. is this is going to be Matt Rule's greatest season <laughs> right now. Here's why. <laughs> Because because next year they're going to get five star recruits and they're going to be guys that come in that are of the talent level similar to Rayola where they're going to start to match receivers with him match an offensive line with him defensive players guys are going to want to start going to Nebraska this is going to be the season we look at really? for Matt Rule where he goes look what Matt Rule did with what he had and that's not a shot at Nebraska but what I saw against Colorado We're still was still pretty talented. What I saw against Colorado is a young quarterback who's going to be elite, probably a first overall pick eventually. A running two running backs who are playing with their hair on fire, and then the rest of the guys playing eleven dudes playing as a united front. And that's what Matt that is what's so cool it's about Nebraska, Matt Rule in Nebraska. Bro, I'm sorry. What does that mean? Fucking though? Nebraska. No, none of these none of these five star cats from down south, man, those fucking swamp beefy mother they do not want to go play away from their mama and their papa and their family up in nebraska you want to know how i know i game with these guys okay i break bread with these guys man they tell me they don't want to go to nebraska they're gonna play at lsu they're gonna play at alabama they're gonna play georgia they're gonna play in florida michigan i mean even that's hard to get them to go up there man it really is it's tough so tell me why it's way up here they don't want to go play up there it's cold bro it sucks half the year if not more in nebraska there's nothing going on but let let me nebraska this staff is going to bring balance back to us being a blue blood you really believe that yes bro i'm telling you look i hope it for you i I just don't see the vision man weekend you would i'm sure we have fun because you're you but like man but you would see you would also see the vision i mean we're still getting transfers. Like we're getting cats there. If you Five get star a recruit, cats. Yeah, I was I was schmoozing one up over the weekend. Were you really? Yeah, five star old lineman. I don't see Jackson, Jackson, the kid that the boy, was like yeah, six eight. Out the boy Jackson. Yeah, they got yeah. your money. And Dawson right. Merritt, who's committed to Bama right now. I say, hey brother, you would look good in red. Crimson, actually. You look good in red. One of them's crimson. Grabbing the biceps. Hey, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you play I at Bama, Georgia. That. Like yeah. you're gonna go wherever you go and decide. It's gonna right. be a great decision. But you go to Georgia, Bama, and these other schools. You'll be a cog in the machine. You come and win Ooh, here. Oh yeah, the it's that's, that's forever, the classic. bro. That's the classic. And this yeah. class will it, look to just two and zero oh right now. Maybe got a trap game with Northern Iowa coming up. You can hear the preview of that on the locker room on Thursday when we drop that. Yeah. But it's just it's one game at a time. But this class, this team does have a chance to be remembered forever for bringing it back to what Taylor's talking about, where you start getting more guys in. I'm I'm telling you. Can I have a quick timeout? Yeah. Can we respect the timeout? Now yeah. let's you and I just talk like Nick's not here. Okay. I don't like how this guy's coming in here and making us have to defend our schools. <laughs> This is our show. That's okay though. This is our. This is our I, this show. Is, this is the. This is the batter's we, box oh, I've been bad, in. Now. We, should, we should be I able to. Yeah, I, don't be, I, I, but, I thought we were just having a real conversation. You got to respect yeah. the time out. You got to respect the time out. Okay, right. you're not here. All right, sorry. Can I tell you something though? Go ahead. On your end, on Michigan's end. Yeah. He's been a fan of Michigan. I know, and he's being disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> like you've got like to be a fan is to have delusion. You have to have in a sense delusion. You know that better than anybody. But I and knew I'm, that we were building something. And right. people just had to, hey, patience. And patience. I can sit here and consciously say, yeah, Michigan's going. Michigan's obviously, because we've lost all game, has taken a step back this year than we have in years past. That's the reality. But other than he's that. He's calling half the schedule. I, that, that's what I'm saying. That's why he's, that's like crazy. You guys, and I hate, I truly, I want this to land as soft as possible. You guys might lose five games this year. And you got to be ready. I, I'm not getting what I need. Time back in. You're back in, Nick. Go ahead. I, I'm not prepared. I, I'm, I just, Can you pull the my Michigan got, schedule how, back how's up, the please? back of the bus feel? Jack, what do you I, think? I've been like, waiting to go around, man. Yeah, I, I just looked at Michigan's schedule. Um, hold on. So you guys have AR State next week. I think you guys will probably pull that one out. Um, yeah. USC, most likely. <laughs> you hate the way you said that. Nasty, right, bro. Y'all are going to get hang on to that that USC. that's 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 I know, where that is part. nasty so you I just say, say you guys with all well, due respect and then be <laughs> saying something disrespectful yeah well, you so did, you did yeah. minnesota minnesota i think you guys have opportunity to win uh washington opportunity i don't think i think washington because it's a west coast game like nick said that's gonna, gonna be, be tough a tough to travel schedule it's gonna be tough to win michigan state at Illinois, that, don't gloss over you, that one. You went, you went past Illinois. Oh, Illinois. Yeah, we talked to Illinois. I do think Illinois is going to be a tough program for y'all to face. They're good. So that coach I, is real. I do think yeah. y'all are going to beat Indiana in Northwestern. Everything else is up in the air. Ohio State obviously is y'all's the scariest game of y'all season, being the last and your biggest rival. But I think y'all have Northwestern, Indiana, and possibly Minnesota in the bag. What about you, Dad? 
Yeah, we how, did, did, how did. does Papa Merck's we, feel? We man? need a lot of improvement. Not, there's just so much work to be done. I I'm, I don't feel comfortable. Do you mind grabbing the mic? No, yeah, I won't. I, I don't feel comfortable. Over under seven and a half wins this year. Yeah, come on. Oh man, just say it, man. Who cares what people think, man? Just say, say what I, you I, think. I, my I, heart is with Taylor, though. I want I want to be like yeah, that. Yeah, me Thank too. You. But but you're just looking at the schedule. Yeah, I mean, I I think five losses is real. Yeah. That's potential. Taylor, that's don't just, count it out no, loud. That's just potential. Don't do, don't don't potential count them like losses. that. I see three potential losses on the schedule. Ooh, which ones? The, with the one the you three, already the have. The three the three potential is oh yeah so F- I guess four. SC Oregon Ohio. SC, we already have one. SC Oregon and I, I know that I listen. Don't be <laughs> crazy, <laughs> but I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you, when it comes to rivalry games, yeah, bro, yeah, you gotta different. throw you gotta yeah. throw records out the window. Yeah, it's different. You throw, that, that's why when I was there. When I was there in 2011 and 12. 2000, 2012 season or 2013 season, they were better than us. We were a seven and five program, and we went for two at the end of the game for the win and didn't get it. And they mm-hmm. were they were, were right a there. top five team. I'm just saying we we can you guys can say all the things you want. Now, I, extremely disrespectful that we're talking about Minnesota. That's cr- like they've had they've they've done solid. They their they, first two weeks. they played North Carolina in week one, missed a field goal and sent off their fireworks. Will you're not going to tell me that program's got their shit together? Okay. <laughs> by the way, you just talk about. By, Coach by the way, that's a rivalry <laughs> game as well. That's a rivalry game. That's for that's for the Brown job. That's for the Brown. So right. once again, Plank let's okay. Okay. So I respect that. By the way. You or, keep it and, in. and also, he says Minnesota throw records out the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So respect also, that. no, hold on, Oregon. I respect that. You're gonna look me in the eyes and tell me Idaho State and Boise State are a couple of good ball programs because they because I'm pretty sure Boise State was winning at one point against Oregon, they were. and I'm pretty sure they went down to the wire with both those teams. So you're not gonna look me in the eyes and tell me all of a sudden that they're gonna they walk were home. us. We're home. Nice. Yeah, yeah, home. Oregon's gonna come. Michigan all the way State. The- listen, Michigan State is utter dog shit. I know. They're dog shit. They but again, Maryland, though, rivalry, they Maryland. Rivalry. rivalry week. Throw game, rivalry throw records week. out the window. Well, you're rivalry. saying we're dog shit. <laughs> and we have the mental, we have the mental fortitude on them because we've been dusting that ass from, for the last three years. From what he's I a Tennessee saw, guy, so he's feeling real good right now. He's feeling real good. Tennessee's really really nice. got a good and ball. And I like Jack you to get away from the microphone because you, we weren't gonna be nasty, then all okay. of a sudden. We said dog walk, and we said, I hope you guys can pull it Dog so walk well. was crazy. Dog know, walk was know. crazy. And, and, and I know it feels me. good because of how I acted like last year. You could have said anything. I know it feels good. I, I'm not saying I enjoy seeing you like this at all, but I like seeing tr- – this is what true fandom is, is dying every week because a team that you have no control over dictates your mental health. And that that is college football. That's fandom. It's not winning a national game. championship year one as a fan. This is truly how you become a Michigan fan. You, obviously, you have all of the uh, the whatever you played there, but this is what fandom yeah, is. Backbone of the program, but yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But this is what fandom <laughs> is. So you have to. You have. It sucks. sucks. Re- okay, I, I tell you, of all Go the ahead, people Nick, in here, it. of all the people in here, Nick, I'm most disappointed. I know, you. I know, because you should know better. Being a fan, you would have been one of the fans that left in the third quarter too. For you I to sit have here, it looked me in the eyes. We were staying. Bro, we were Minnesota, we were staying. That, Minnesota win. Ar- uh, we were Arkansas win. Uh, Let's just say USC doesn't go our way. We'll just we'll we'll play to the masses here and say it doesn't go our way. So you know what I think you happened because my math is for whatever reason getting really bad. So we're one and one, two and one. Now we're two and two. Minnesota, <laughs> yeah, two, three and two. Washington, four and two. Oof. Illinois, five and two. Oof. Michigan State, six and two. Oregon, I've already said my piece in Oregon. I'm going to say seven and two. Indiana, eight and two, Northwestern, nine and two. And then I've already talked about Ohio State, dude. You throw those records out of the out the window. And and USC played a LSU team. You USC played an LSU team who historically loses their first game against big big opponents. Historically. Hmm. So I'm not taking USC off the board either. I'm we could win the we could win out. Oof. And it just depends on the boys gelling. They gotta gel. But you can look at this schedule and be like, I I, listen in Ohio State we might have the same record because they're going to lose to Nebraska and they're going to lose to Penn State so we'll have a better record than them they're going to lose to Penn State I love see that's how you know Nebraska's made it (laughs) you just looked you just looked over my comment about Nebraska and went to Penn State that's got to feel good Penn State's so highly ranked and they're horrible I mean that quarterback I'm sorry man but he's just not him Hey, you, let's let's do He's this. Not, hey, Give I, me a positive take about something. Okay, 
Um, I won a lot of sports bets this past this Let's past fucking week. Go, a dude. lot, bro. A lot. Let's like, go. I'm talking like like NFL, college, you name it. I fucking cash. What was your man. best win? Yeah, I was gonna say, what were you most excited I put, about seeing? I put uh like eight grand on the Cowboys to win uh, money line against the spread. Yeah. Oh, you took them with the points, or you bet them money? No, line? I gave away points. I gave away points. Right. Seems like you got beat the, the shit down. out of the Browns, and we, we made so much money off that. Me, yeah. me, Tim, everybody, man, we all bet them. I didn't get to see the Brown, like the Brown, It's just like Deshaun. Deshaun is, he, is done. The, the, he's pent up. He he seems like he's like there's some real kinks in his game, and he needs to get that. Uh, he's definitely you know, got kinks off the field. Yeah, he needs to get back on the table. Right. Ever since ever since. Uh, Here's what I saw. Got getting played out a little bit. You know what yeah. I mean? What I heard <laughs> yeah. is uh, Bill O'Brien was running Clemson's offense at Houston because he couldn't conform to any other NFL offense. And mm-hmm. now the Browns are trying to get him to go and run that offense, and he's just he just can't do it. Yeah, I don't see That's it. why you see Joe Flacco come in and do what he did last year. I don't see the Browns, man. I just don't see it. Uh, Browns they, are I, the so, Browns are in a tough spot, and they get so tough, much money. He's still like the number two Dude, highest so, paid quarterback. so much money. Do you see part yeah. of my take's take on it? Uh-uh. It is really good. Uh, Big Cow and PFT were saying that I think we're at the point where we can say – that Deshaun Watson, as good of a player he is on the field, he's even better off the field. <laughs> he's a better person than he is player. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. Which is well, they kicked the homie out nuts. and they sent him down to Tampa, right? Yeah, yeah, Baker. And now he's balling. Yeah, yeah. You're a Bucks fan too. How you yeah. feel about Baker? You think? Yeah. He's he, bro. He play. He plays with, with 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 such attitude, man. It's hard not to love. You yeah. Know? He just he just wants to play football, man. Just a chip on his shoulder. That. Yeah, he's not going to be as accurate as maybe like, bro. That boy Dak Prescott, man. He he can put the ball anywhere. He's a psycho. Oh, you love Dak? No, I think, no. I think he's overrated. But but during no, hang on, like I, think playoff, he, I think I think people don't give him a lot of love. It's I think weird. Hard like, on. And yeah, I think well, it's he's because playoffs really like the team always falls so short. But yeah. during and, the regular the season, logo, man, he he's unbelievable. Yeah, like, but the logo on the logo on his helmet, dude. I mean, yeah, you're, yeah. you're behind the eight ball every single time. If you don't play perfect, well, it's a circus. You know, there. he's not as accurate as a guy like Dak, but he plays football tough. And I think that the team that he's on, they they enjoy that. I love Mike Evans. He scored two touchdowns the other day. Um, that's my guy. You know, uh, I think they got a lot going on down there. A lot of good things, but. Dallas, if they can just win a game in the fucking playoffs, man, this could be a scary team. I just don't know if they're going to be able to do it, man. Dak's just, he just never, I That's don't know, the conversation man. after. Like they got the, killed the by Green Bay year, every at year. home in the fucking, in the, come on. Yeah, but Green Bay, Green yeah. Bay was doing that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this episode to bring you Body Armor. This episode is brought to you by Body Armor Sport Water, the alkaline water that provides real hydration with electrolytes for taste. Everybody always drink is always drinking it around the office. We literally have freights and freights of this thing here. I know the boys don't even bring in water bottles anymore. That's how much they love Body Armor. It's incredible. Uh, the sports drink, the zero sugar, and even the flash IV after a long weekend. We can't get enough Body Armor. The sport water, in my opinion, it's the best water on the market. Head over to your local 7-Eleven and get your Body Armor sport water today. Back to the episode. Who are some oh, NFL man. guys you stream with? I mean, we played with Haquan Barkley, great guy. I remember we were scheduled to do like a two-hour stream, and we played the whole day together. Yeah? Yeah, like I was supposed to go do stuff, and he was supposed to go do stuff, but we just played. He's, he's we, nice. And we were is talking nice the whole time just like this. He, he's actually not bad, and he's like this suit. He's got a kind of a calm demeanor, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we were just kind of gaming and chatting. You remember that stream? We played, we played like eight hours. We were scheduled for two. No it shit. was really strange. Yeah. Who's an NFL guy who you respect their game the most? Mike Evans. He's yeah. better than me at a lot of those games, man. No shit. I'm really? not kidding. Because I mean, I took a big step back. I stopped playing so much, and this this guy, when when he's home, he's playing. So and he's cracked. I mean, he's unbelievable, man. He really <laughs> he's is. Cracked. He's unreal. He's very very good. At, what at, are the uh, games he's better Fortnite, than you at? Fortnite. He's better than me at now. Actually, Mike Evans is better than you at Fortnite. He can build and edit like a keyboard guy. I can't. I can shoot. But you know that game, man. You got to build and edit the builds and stuff. He can do it all. And it wasn't always that way. When we first started playing, he was a bot. And he was really mad about it. And I could tell. And we, we, we went to like <laughs> tournaments together. Bot. No, he was just horrible. We went to tournaments together. And uh, we did super well. But he he would get irritated that he couldn't keep up in these big tournaments. And I kept telling him, I said, Mike, half the lobby are pro gamers. Like, it'd be like me going on the, on the field with you two and getting mad that I can't keep up. I'm not going to, you know. But... He had this look in his eye, man, like that competitor shit. And he would go home and practice on the low. And eventually got to a point where he's 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 no joke now, man. It's crazy. 
I love that. I love it, man. That's it's awesome. unreal. Yeah. I've never played a game of Fortnite in my life, I don't think. I no played way. one, yeah. right? I was I was more PUBG. Are you not a gamer? You don't you no, really game I, like that? I, I love like um, Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption. RPGs, RPGs. Yeah, RPGs. That's what they call them. So no shooters? Yeah. No, dude. I, I played a little bit of that Call of Duty with the zombies. Yeah. I had a good time. Wow. I thought that was really fun for I a little bit. I can tell by the way he just said that, that he doesn't play this shit. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, wow. I, I don't, Call of Duty with I, the zombies. It's like my dad. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah, bro. Real, no way. I don't, I, Nintendo 64, Super Smash Brothers. I was <laughs> filthy with yeah, that. Yeah, fire, fire, Filthy. Though. Cool. Um, you were best in the locker room with uh, Super Smash Bros. Yeah, I I, I control I control. You guys that. would have little lands in there and shit. When I got to Tennessee, like it seemed like they had a little thing going. Maybe it was mostly old linemen. We, yeah, we would play after every practice and stuff like Love that. I that. brought it in. The thing that sucks is I broke this thumb, and it doesn't really. I can't. No, move it left it too hard. Too. So my my moving left is my game has gone down a can't little bit. Can't turn left. Now I left still, yeah, can't turn left. I'm essentially <laughs> Zoolander. But we got the boys in here. That's we so uh, we hooked it up one day. And they just stopped wanting to play with me for like 20 minutes, but I was putting, I oh, was you putting were doing down. that much work. Yeah. Yeah. No, Fire, I, man. my freshman year at Michigan, one of my hallmates at West quad, he was like all about super smash. And I would go in his room all the time. We would just play for hours. Yeah. Yeah. And he like kind of put me on game of how to play well. And eventually I ended up. It's crazy. Like, you know, when your brain gets that into a game, yeah. the time just, the time just, like you blink and it's been like eight hours. No like, doubt. Shit, man. I'm so, I'm so but into that's this, how man. it was for like uh Red Dead Redemption for me. Yeah. Cause I did that after my second ACL surgery. I played that game and beat it in seven days. They they say that's one of the greatest games of all time, but I've never played yes. it. You've never played Bro. it? Oh, I've never you played it. You want to cry. Yeah. I, that's what I heard. Like, no the joke. Game, I actually it, cried. It's like a moving type thing, man. Like, yeah. it's like, it, it hurts. What's it this? What's the newer game that you've been streaming a lot? Elden Ring. Yeah, Elden Ring. Is that like an RPG? Same thing. Sounds like that. Skyrim. Same thing as that. Same thing as Skyrim too. Yeah. Okay. They call you it RPG. One thousand percent need to stream Red Dead. Redemption. Yeah. People yeah. were telling me to do that, man. I just I don't know, man. I just haven't been in the gaming as much lately, bro. I've been just enjoying time, being a father, and just chilling. You know, I've been streaming for like twenty years straight, nonstop, just games, games, games. So How, it's been good I, to take a fat break. You yeah, know? absolutely. How's that shifted for you, like since becoming a dad? It's awesome. It's just, I mean, I you know, I work from home. So that's super cool. I'm there yeah. all the time, you know? And I mean, he he's he's the best, man. It's so fun. To, I mean, but you guys know. It, 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 like, not everything changes, but the way you look at everything changes. And it's just been a lot of fun uh, this this period of my life, you know? Yeah. Was it hard? Was it was it uh, hard transitioning away from gaming no, at first? No, no, hell no. Like no. with the wife, were you guys ever kind of like, hey, the schedule, I need you to shift it around a little nah, bit? No, nah, no. She, she's the GOAT, man. She, she just... She just handles it all if she needs help she'll you know we'll have a conversation or whatever you know but at first i was streaming a lot you know when we had just had him so uh there, there were times where she needed me i took a little bit of time off you know but dude she's a tank man yeah. she just takes care of I, I i i have a great one you know that's awesome yeah 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 when you, when you got a good team 20 years bro 20 years how long have you been streaming at a at like a high 12? level you kind of exploded with fortnite 12 yeah 12 years 2000? now what so 20 20 years i was you, i was big before that too man i mean w you know w i was one of the first partner streamers on justin tv which is now twitch tv so way back when when streaming was really really difficult to break into i had a buddy who was who was a nerd who, who knew all about it and i mean i didn't so he came out he set me all up and uh there was really only maybe like 10 or 20 people streaming then mm -hmm. you know and we, you couldn't make any any cash off it it was just kind of for fun and I'm playing and there's a chat and it's all, it's this new experience, you know, I'm having fun with it. Um, and then it just kind of evolved into everything that it is today. Um, but dude, I've been, I've been gaming since I was like a kid. I mean, competitively gaming since I was like 10 or 11. I remember begging him to take me to a, a small tournament, like an hour away from my home and he wouldn't do it. And I told him, I like, go, oh, look, at, I, I promise you, I, 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 there's like $400 cash prize. I'll win that thing. And he wouldn't do it. And then finally he cracked and he took me to one. And I won and I had like four or 500 cash. I'm like, see, and he couldn't fucking believe it. And he drove me to a bank of America and we made a bank account. I was like 12 years old and he had to be there because I can't make an account. Yeah. yeah. And then he, so he's trying to, and I, he, he was super, we, we had a lot going on uh, just because, you know, he coached college ball and you know that environment, man. Like, you know, in my family, I mean, I know, you know, Alex, Brad, mm -hmm. those guys that, that play in the NFL. I got, I got cousins in the NFL, cousins that play high level college. My little brother's an athlete. He was an athlete. He, he coached. So for me to not go down that route and start doing this gaming shit, he, he was having a breakdown, man. You know, he, he had no idea how to fucking handle it, you know? But we, I promise him, I mean, look, I'm the best of this Gears of War Halo shit. So just take me to these tournaments and I'll, I'll just cash out. He goes, all right. So we start going to all these tourneys and I'm just 400, 800, 500, 400, just cash, cash, cash. Boy, I got fucking 20 grand in my bed. I'm, I'm 14 with 20K 
in my bank account. I couldn't imagine. Could not imagine that. Yo, now, money at 14 now I'm years like, old. yo, I just want to go buy shit, you know, but, yeah. he, he, but he won't let me, you know what I mean? But we got 20K in there. And that's when it just started getting crazier and crazier, man. Then it was like 100K and then 150K by the time I was 18. 150 grand in your bank account at 18 yeah, from gaming. Man. And I'm like, what the fuck do I do with this? I'm sitting down with the tax lady, with the, you know, it's nuts, man. But I've been so doing how, it for how, my whole how life, How old man. were you in 2012? How, how was that? But 20, oh, fuck, man. Uh, 20, maybe? Okay. Right? I think it's perfect that dad is on the bus because him being from the football mold, it's like, it's even still happening. Like your kids, like if your kid wants to be a streamer or a gamer, the parents at the time, like even myself, it's like, yeah, these dudes who are trying to make money streaming, right. like, is there anything in it? Right. Like, would you guys go toes about him, him spending way too much time on the game? Like, I would love to hear dad how speak. Much, how there's much time no do we have? Doubt. There's yeah. no you know, doubt. There's no doubt he was a guy mean. knocking the door like, bro, it's time to go even to Even coaches are like, hey, stop playing fucking video tell, games. Tell him, about, tell him about when my high school coach came to the Well, house. no, I mean, the breaking he, point for he, me he, was dude. we were in Dallas for MLG. Remember? Yeah. And you guys won that tournament and I'm standing there looking at you holding the cardboard check that says 40 grand on it. And I'm going, damn, hmm. Maybe I better get fully behind this, you know? No shit. Yeah. I mean, no, there, we went at it many times to answer your question. I mean, she's fighting, breaking Xboxes. Uh, uh, I work for him now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I talked to his high school football coach, said, please, man, you got to talk to him. I, you just, just come to the house. You know, I, he doesn't listen to me. And he's knocked on the door and Nick, strolls up there from his gaming console you know and the guy's trying to talk him into coming to practice and nick's like yeah you know maybe i will maybe i won't and you're and pissed he, oh he was pissed. dude i couldn't oh, i, I can yeah he was super like, I stomach the, the, so, 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 so so he's like bro you got you, you you're gonna put up, your future into gaming like there's no future in that i'm sure you're feeling at the time of course exactly of course because but, but, there was nobody to emulate nobody to follow and, i mean and, he, and, you he know burned the path we, yeah. we basically like we literally didn't talk for a couple years after that point no, yeah. shit. that's how bad he got. Like, yeah, bro, bro we, we would go at it, we'd yell, and then you know, your dad's gonna discipline you, you know, he'd fucking kick, kick my ass, you know. And then, it, but he, like, from my POV, he just didn't understand that this is what I love to do. Yeah. And at the end of the day in life, you know, I, I think it's really important to just be passionate and follow your heart. If you love something, get after it. And this is what I love to do, but I'm skipping my high school practices. I'm skipping school. My grades are falling behind. You're my, skipping school? Yeah. My, just to well, play. Because I was up to like three, four in the morning every night playing, and I was getting really good. And we were winning online tournaments too. That's when they were pushing out those game battles online tourneys. So now I'm cashing out on these like 2v2 little side gigs. I'm making like 300 bucks in my room. What the fuck I'm going to go to algebra for, bro? You know, I, I don't care. And, and then I would go to school and I'd be so tired that I can't even perform here anyways, man. So I'm sleeping. My teachers are kicking me out. It's this whole thing. So they're thinking about kicking me out to like army camp like for kids and shit which i like, love i mean it's yeah. like you got a son that's not going to doing all the things that you should be doing yeah i look back on it all i don't follow him at, at all i mean i don't have any any weird shit in my heart he he was confused and he and he and, and he should have been and he was just trying to steer his son in the right direction and i mean me being the dickhead that i am <laughs> you just can't tell me what to do man so so i just kept and eventually you know it it popped off for me but the truth is, is back then I was throwing my life away. You know what I mean? Just because I love to do something that wasn't popular. Right. And, and it just so happened that when the whole thing blew the fuck up, because it blew up, mm -hmm. I, I was right in the front, man. I was already one of the bigger guys. So my shit overnight went from fucking, you know, okay, I'm making like 100K a year. Now I'm making like a mil. You know, now me and him got, now we got to try to understand all this. You, you know? Yeah. And, 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 and I mean, it's great. I love that. You know what I mean? But- it's a pretty, it's a pretty crazy childhood and our family dynamic. It, it was, it was tough to grow up that way, you know, because well, cause your you're like entire the family yeah, sounds like they're dude, all, you got his a bunch dad, of athletes, bro. Yeah. His fucking dad hated me for a long time, man. He, he did, man. Yeah, he did. He couldn't yeah. stand me, man. Your dad, sounds, argue, your dad sounds like every single dad. I was the black sheep. man would have been the exact same. Yeah, exactly. Same. And there's exactly. wrestling in your family. If right? I skip, if I skip football. Oh yeah. My, that's what I'm saying. My little brother was a two times hey champion because I did that shit, but I started skipping those practices as well. Dude, he he, he just gets so angry. But yeah, I mean, you know, look, I just loved it. I fucking loved it. Like when you light someone, when you're coming off the head and bang, it's, it, you just get that feeling. You know, I, I felt that too when I played football, when I played that. I played all kinds of sports and I was good at them too. I mean, I was all right. I wasn't as good as you guys, but I was I, I was decent and I had fun. But when I'm playing gaming, I clutch up and the crowd goes nuts. I mean, there was times where I've been on land where I make a big play and the fucking ground's shaking. 
and the just shit falling from the ceiling and stuff. I mean, I got clips of Aiden and I popping off, and we're winning like fifty grand just by getting these kills, and I'm killing them, and the crowd's going fucking crazy, cardboard checks. Which, I mean, that's what I live for, man. You know, so yeah, I just. It took a while to get there. What? Uh, so you guys, you said you two didn't talk for a couple of years. Yeah. What? What inevitably brought you two back together? Is it like I don't? I don't remember. I just remember him and I really not seeing eye to eye. Obviously, mm-hmm. and I think that you know I love my dad. Like my dad, to, you know, to me that that this is my person, man. He's my guy. You know, I got my. You know, but this is the guy that I wanted to. I, I want to be like. If I can be half the father he is someday, great. Not to be too emotional. Or nothing, but he's, but he's, yeah, it's no, no, awesome. keep going, keep going. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you so, need to laugh to break up for yeah, this. Tears start getting to the. No, I fucking love, you know. So I, I really wanted to get that relationship back, and he did too, man. I'm his first son. You know, we we, we got you know a lot going on. There was a lot. It, it was a tough situation, and we both are smart enough to know that. That's not his fault or my fault. It's just, wow, this is a really interesting like position that we're both in. And right. we can't go anywhere t- for help because I don't have anybody to show him like, hey, dad, here's this gamer that I right. can be like. And he doesn't, he doesn't have a parent to go to like, hey, here's this kid that skips everything important in his life is doing is doing this. Yeah. So we're in this weird place. But ultimately, you know, we just said, okay, enough's enough, man. You know, let, let's just be, let's just be dudes about it. You know what I mean? Let's, let's just, and it, we yeah, just. I think right about then it was SEAL training. Yeah. Then, then it was weird, man. Talk I, about I, the SEAL training. I, I, I coached him. Okay. Get your ass on this yeah, track, boy. You know? <laughs> well, to, so to go to Bud's to try to be a SEAL, you have to get a Bud's like contract. You can't just go. So you got to do a push-up test, a pull-up test, a sit-up test, a uh, two-mile run, like a swim. All back to back to back to back to back. And then you get a certain score. And they only really draft the top scores, you know, every what? Two months or three months? I, yeah. I can't really remember. So we trained for like two years. And to, at this point when you're that, training, you wanted to be a SEAL. I stayed, this is going to be a really quick story, but I'm sure you guys can relate. I, I stayed up too late one fucking night and I, I, I clicked on too many bad links and I saw stuff that was happening out there. And I went to him and I, and I, I tried to talk to him about it. And he goes, Nick, I know, man, it's, it's a crazy world sometimes we're living in. And it ate me alive, man. Like for weeks, I couldn't get that night out of my head, just seeing that some of the stuff that goes on. And I wanted to do something about it. And I, and I, it, I, it was that night. And then I, I, I started to hook up, like who actually goes and deals with some of these people and all the, all the Google searches just can't see or see or see or see. I'm like, right. so I went to a fucking uh, recruiting office. And I, I sat down with a guy. I told him I wanted to be a SEAL. He told me how. And then we had to train for a couple of years to get that bid and we got it. And then I went into, uh, you know, I went into boot camp in like a 800 division. It's like a sped up boot camp, mm-hmm. a little bit harder. It was pretty easy though. We, we, you know, people don't quit there. And then you go to pre-buds, which is like a two or three month. And you know, it was like kind of like a college football camp. Yeah. Like you're just lifting weights. You're doing track sessions. All your trainers are collegiate trainers. It was super cool. David Goggins, he, he actually came, he actually came back to our class. And I remember him screaming at all of us before we went on like some 20 mile fucking thing in the snow. And he said, if you, if you don't hang with him, then you're cut. I didn't hang with him and I didn't get cut. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's hard. He's kind of hard to keep up with, but yeah. And then I went out to buds and I lasted about two weeks. And uh, I had I had a lot of trouble with everything underwater, and they give you demerit chits. A chit is like a like a blemish kind of on your contract. So if you if you're not performing in certain areas and you're holding the group back, you get a chit. And if you get a certain amount of them, you got to go in front of the board and like address that. And I was getting all these chits for underwater stuff, and finally the chief just said, "Hey, listen, man, like, you know, if you're struggling with underwater shit, you want to be a seal. That's a problem." Yeah. So he told me to meet him you know, super early at the pool, just him and I, and he's going to give me another chance to pass this underwater stuff. I couldn't do it. So he kicked me out. What was the underwater stuff? Like what, what was the underwater things that were so difficult? They tie, Cause you see, you see, tie yes. Your, yeah. They tie, they tie your feet together, tie your hands behind your back and that's fine. You got, you got to like bob up and down the bottom of a 12 foot pool. Then you got to do a 50 yard swim. And I was having a, a lot of trouble with that. I couldn't go the whole way because the way they make you do it is, you got to dive off into the deep end, like pencil dive. Mm-hmm. When your feet hit the bottom, you got to do a front flip, no push off and go. And you got to go all the way without popping up. And I could not fucking do that. I even passed out twice. Yeah. No shit. That's God weird. Damn. Super weird. Yeah. So you you pass out underwater and you're twice. woken up. On the side of the fucking pool deck. They just mouth to mouth you? Wake the fuck up. Mm. No shit. Wake the fuck up. 
Yeah. Because cats die during this stuff, right? No, not during that part. <laughs> yes, people, people have no, people died. Di- yeah, no, pe- people have died in buds, but I think they die from from different parts of it. Like you know, Hell Week is crazy. I never even got to that point. Uh, that's like week four, I think, or week five, maybe. Well, what, so week, what week were you like? All right, this is it. I, I can't. The get moment past. it began, I was like, "Holy shit!" Really? You start at three a.m. You go to the blacktop. And I mean, they're getting you up with LMG with blank rounds inside of a, like a, like a dorm room thing. We're all running outside with our boots, our belts hanging. We get down to that blacktop and there's just this fucking jacked instructor up on the podium. And he's yeah, all right, we're going to take you through a fucking workout. If anybody lacks or anybody struggling, you fucking put your helmet over there. You ring the bell, get the fuck out. And I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> and we, and then we fucking begin. And I mean, you're getting your dick kicked in for two hours. And, and you know, periodically every 10, 20 minutes, they're sending you over the sand dune, down the sand dune to the ocean. And you got to get wet. And then you get sand all over you. If you come back with any spot that doesn't have sand, you, you got to go again. And it's just this, the sand sticks to you, your skin chafes, and it's just this experience that's meant to weigh on you. It's just over time, man. Yeah, it just gets you. harder and harder. And then you see people quitting, and that's a shitty part too. I remember that. I remember like being up, you'd be up at three, four AM and that Pacific Ocean's fucking freezing, man. Mm-hmm. And we're sitting in there, you know, they're they got us all in the ocean. We're freezing our fucking asses off. And we're seeing people quit. They're standing up. And just be and like, they're going to a van and they wrap them in a blanket and they give them a hot coffee. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, little buddy. You know, and you're like, fuck, <laughs> oh, no. that coffee would smack. I was right gonna now. say, and you're like, man, this could be so easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It could that be so easy be to just go get this oh, blanket. Man. Bro, I, I'm gonna say something like, no cap, bro. I, I I used to like piss on myself to stay warm, like during those times. And I literally just start peeing, and for a second I feel warm. Like, okay, oh, fuck, man. Yeah, that 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 two weeks was probably the hardest two weeks of my entire life. But I learned a lot about myself. You know, I got some friends that made it all the way through. Um, I don't regret any of it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing, too, is, like, you stay up, you watch all these links that make you want to do this, and you're like, oh, I want to make a difference. Yeah. Going through those couple of weeks, whether it worked, it didn't obviously didn't work out, mm. but the guys that did work out for it, you guys feel pretty good about our country. Yeah. You're like, you know, oh those dogs God. are out there. Those seals have to, the shit they go through, and that's just the beginning. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to get through buds, which, I mean, I'm, I am I tapped in two weeks. Th- these guys are going through eight months of training, then SQT, SEAL qualification training, where they mm-hmm. put it all together up there in Alaska for another eight months, and then you go pick your job, like your specific job, sniper, uh, this or that and then and then you go to school for that for learning I mean, bro you are just god yeah you're just dialed man it's the machine and when you got cut are you bummed are you kind of relieved like, yeah hey, i, I could... remember calling him the only place you can get service from is the top of the fucking building i call Were you him, nervous man. to call I, your own man oh my god bro it's one of the worst phone calls of my life man i call i i, I, I couldn't even get the words out yeah right it sucked that was a we worked one. so hard man we did we did I, I just should have done more. I should have done more preparation on the underwater stuff, and I really fell short there, you know. And it was just a, it was an area. And the thing about going through SEAL training like that is, those instructors, the, the entire program is designed where they they're doing all that on purpose. So as soon as they see the crack in the armor, they just attack it. Right. Mm-hmm. So so they had my ass in the pool extra, like just screwing with me. You know what I mean? Because they knew that, 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 that okay, trying to break you. That that's that's what they're doing. And they did. But, and they, the when but you it be- makes you better, man. It, it, look, yeah. look, I, I mean, I, 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 just, I firmly believe that everybody should should go through some of those things because then you appreciate little things a lot more, man. I mean, you know, we like, uh, super small shit, like having your phone. I mean, mm-hmm. fuck, you know. I mean, right. You my, would never uh, know it, but it's crazy. My Sorry. senior year, we went to like San Diego and we did like, we went with the Navy SEALs and did like three, four did hours you? with them. Yeah, yes. they do that. And I was like, at the end of the three, four hours, I was so, I was done. There was yeah. no way I was going to do anything. Remember else. what they had you doing? We were carrying the boat. We were going. Yeah. We were going over that same hill into the water, rolling around in the sand. Yeah, they had that little that. obstacle course. I saved they were a making couple guys of them doing that. Just, it was it was nuts. Because go now oh, Michigan, yeah. Michigan does like team one thirty one. We were team one thirty four. Right. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. yeah. Same thing. Because we thing. did the Navy SEAL thing. Yeah. And right. they jumped off, and we started doing that. It was like all the seniors. That's like my helmet. That is the boats you carry. Yeah. Yeah. That's the dog. That's me in pre buzz my buddy Gardner. That's you? No, that's that's, that's not my buddy. I'm filming. I'm asking what he's doing. He's clean. See, you have to clean all the shit off your belt, and if there's even like a speck on it, and the whole class does push up, and they do that on purpose. 
you know, it's like Pee Wee football. Like, you know, when that kid that the coach didn't want on the team and mm. he's on the team and it sucks because his mom is, he's forcing him to do it. He doesn't want to be there. He's got to play like eight plays. Those eight plays, he gets killed every fucking time and they just get, they get 10 yards. So everybody's just mad about this one fucking kid, right? right. Well, in practice, that same kid, because he just doesn't want to be there. Now we all got to run around that tree that's two miles away because this kid can't keep up. Yeah. Yeah. Full metal they, jacket. they are the best at that. Yo, if we would have uh, loafs at Nebraska my senior year, like say I had three loafs, I would have to sit on the chair while the rest of the linebacker room would have to run three gas. Hey, explain explain, exactly. explain what a loaf is. Exactly, though. A loaf is ultimately like not finishing to the ball. Like if you're not, the way that they would do it is if you're not on the screen at the end of the play Fun. or if you get outran by, you know, if you're a DB and you get outran by a linebacker to the ball or Bad. if you're a linebacker, you get outran by a D lineman or you change your... You change your tempo at all. Like you start to slow down because you think it might be an incomplete pass and all of a sudden they catch and then you start sprinting. Yeah, yeah. That would be considered a loaf. A loaf. So if you get loafs, if it got bad enough, they would make the person sit on the chair while the rest of the linebacker room would run. A terrible feeling. Yeah, Both, see, and then you you right, that feeling sets in. Now everyone knows it's your fault. And, and you just feel shitty because right. everybody's that's getting punished is. for it. That's the worst part. Bo of brought when in you, when you're not getting punished, and everybody else is is yeah. the worst way to get punished in college. Absolutely. Bro yeah. brought in that brought hurts. in. Uh, it's this group called the program where I, they're either former seals or former something in the oh, military, wow. and they would come in and we just basically had 48 hours of this training to where you'd be there till like past midnight and then have to wake up at 4:30 in the morning and then you're in the pool mm. like at the uh, Nebraska in the Nebraska swimming area. We'd have full sweats on, having to tread water, mm. and and then your teammates, like guys who couldn't swim, like they would have to trust the guy next to them that we would hold Holy them up. Shit, yeah. And you would have to like take off your hoodie and the other person would have to put it on. You're like treading water, having to put all this stuff on. It, was, it was fucking nuts. Carrying logs, like all the detail, like somebody left a cup in the team meeting room. They brought us all down. They made us warm up. And then the guys motherfucked us for leaving a cup out. That's, the whole team would have to run up that's to the whole time. All, yeah. They'd have to that's run college. up to the team meeting room as a group and then run back once it was all cleared. And they would give you a, like an assignment, like say I was the guy from my group. They would tell me all the instructions and then I would have to be the one to explain it to the team. Nobody says anything. Like even if you get an instruction wrong, you go throughout the entire process, like compete, do all this stuff. And if you got something wrong, then they tell you after the fact and then you got to basically redo yeah. it. Yeah. It's oh. fucking nuts, bro. A lot of super common things across the board, mm -hmm. you know. But dad, that's, that's the best part about being on a team, you know. I mean, you're, you're yeah, you're Dad. For you, when you got the phone call when he got cut, are you disappointed? Are you thinking no, he wasn't putting no, the effort? No. Or you yeah, just you like, were. No, no, no. Yeah, I, you were. I wanted you to accomplish your goal, but I wasn't disappointed. Listen, it's like the UFC and tapping or not tapping. You didn't tap. You gave it everything you had, and you passed out under the pool twice. I mean, you didn't come didn't up and it. breathe. And I, 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 no, no regrets. I'm super proud of the he, effort look yeah man, he's the most supportive father in the world bro but he's he's chilled out quite a bit over the years man that's for sure that answer would be a lot different 20 years ago let me tell no you. question uh, my old man as well i mean he was pretty it's crazy isn't yeah it? yeah like now they're the best and look, when you, you become a father then, like, and you, now you're, you're so you're, od when yeah. we were kids man like, i think there's like a there's a something as a father coaching his son as he's getting older you want him to be good so bad that it's like you're like it's like squeezing the baby too tight you're like, man, I just want this kid to be the best version of himself. And I know he's fucking things yep. up. And then immediately <laughs> when you become an adult, it's like, all right, man, like I did the best I could. I can no longer yeah, tell tough. you what to and do. if you're on like a good track. Like, yeah, yeah, like, if you're on a good track. But then as soon as like the good track and like you're, you're of an age where you're essentially responsible responsible for yourself, then as a father, you could sit back and be like, hey, this is the product I helped make. Like it's right. up to them Yeah, that's got to be a great feeling man, yeah. to have have a son that's doing well yeah you know what i mean my dad was pissed when i didn't want to like wrestle i quit after like sixth grade that's right he wrestled that yeah yeah, yeah my brother was a stud senior national champion went to nebraska on scholarship like oh, he was shit. a stud okay. so we had like a wrestling family this is older was, brother the younger brother okay i'm the oldest so my younger brother Same. he was a uh, you know when it was it wasn't football season cody was ultimately like the favorite because oh, wrestling's yeah. like all year round like you know cliff king kickoff like the triple sure. crown going around when you're young sure cody was a monster oh, yeah. and my junior year i said that i would either i said one like that i would play baseball because my mom was pissed that i wouldn't play like sports all year round because after football season, I would love to, you know, whether just hang with the Something, boys, yeah. video games, stuff like that. Yeah. And then when I didn't play baseball, my parents basically said I either wrestled my junior year. My dad was like, you're either wrestling or you're grounded for the entire winter. So ultimately, I wrestled wow. at 215 at like yeah. 200 pounds and just 
you know, gritted it out. I hated every second of it. But my dad always wanted me to wrestle because he's like, you know, it'll be better. It'll tra it'll translate to football, yeah, which he's it, right. It does. Right. My pro agility yeah, went down. Like you live it. You live it. Like you live this tall for three months out of the year, just being in that fucking stance. And I would get my ass whooped by this uh, dude named Jason Winkle, Nonstop. who was a scholarship cat to Cornell. And wow. like it was, you know, I hated it. But my dad was always pissed. That I didn't want to wrestle every year because Cody was really good. Did at your dad it. do it? No, my dad didn't. He wished he had. He was like, I mean, I wish they had you, wrestling you, back you in the wish day. You, you wish you would have done it too. Dude. I, yeah, I, I would. Yeah, but I was too tall and skinny. He was, was. He was a great basketball player yeah, too. I played basketball. Yeah, basketball. my dad was like, I wish they had wrestling back when he, you know he was young. Oh, they didn't even else. have it. Did you have it in your high school? Yeah, of course. You did. I think. I think. I think. As a father, all you want to do is make sure that they're trying to, you know, they're they're they're, they're creating the opportunities for themselves. And right. like by not wrestling, you're eliminating that possibility. You know, it's like, what, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, I, I love just, it too. Just like, open, just give it, give the kid an opportunity, and then go get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to feel it. When I when I was a, a freshman in high school, my in eighth grade, I got in like a lot of trouble, and so my dad's like, "Hey, you're playing football," because I kind of quit playing all sports. And uh, it was like middle of July in Arizona, and this the head coach they were doing like camp, kind of yeah. freshman through senior, like the big camp for all the kids to kind of like get acclimated. Fire. And uh, we're like going around in groups, and halfway through, I go up to my dad, and I'm like, "Hey." I'm done. I want to quit. I'm I'm over it. And my dad's like, "All right, that's the head coach of the varsity team. Go tell him you quit. I'll meet you in the car." And I literally I looked at that coach. My dad walked and sat in the car. And I was like, "Fuck, man." All right. So I finished the entire day. I get in the car. And my dad goes, "I just want you to know what it feels like to be on the other side of the hill. If you could just feel what that's like, I promise it's gonna work out." And I was like, "Damn." Yeah. It was awesome. Right. That's a that's right. a good dad. That's yeah. a good dad. A w. That was a good moment. Yeah. That's Chaparral High School, though. Yeah, that's when your boy was balling. <laughs> oh, look how big you are, man. Yeah, God. old Tommy Tyma right Dude. there, number four. The couldn't run a slam. Like I need wrestling videos. Dude, I bro, growing up, when my boys, when my friends would come in the house, my dad would talk about the the weekend from wrestling. Like, you want to watch some tape? And we, they'd be sitting there. We'd be, put a tape in on the VCR that they recorded from being on the mat. And we'd just have to sit there and watch our wrestling That's tournaments. Because my dad would like force people to watch wrestling. He loved wrestling. I got you, a, you and my yeah, dad would get along. I got, yeah, I got, a, van, I got a van out there with 400,000 miles on it because me and his little brother traveled dude. the country in all those tournaments. Did y'all yeah, drive here? He won, yeah. So you know Tulsa, oh, Oklahoma. Oh, oh they, you did. Cliff they went Keys. to all. They went Stevens to all out there. He won Tulsa. Man. Reno, he won yeah, all. yeah, man. He that was, that was so fun. Man. Great, so time. fun. Yeah, yeah, bro. Cody was See, like, but the then, 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 Steam would be in some wrestling tournament, and Nick would come to watch him, and half the stands are going to get autographs from Nick and not watching the damn wrestling. <laughs> and you're thinking, what no. the fuck? Is <laughs> hey, that's a solid feeling. Long days wrestling now. It's a long day. Long you're, days. You're bro. up at two, three, and you're not done till eight. But when oh, your bro God, is, man. when your brother's good, and when they finally, oh, get, you know, the God. matchups finally start happening. And you know, like it's semis, something different about that sport. I know we've been talking a lot about football. You guys are both NFL guys and stuff, but it's just wrestling, bro. Like when you watch your little brother go at it like that, man. Like you look at the parent across and the yeah. brother across, and there's just this, oh, there's this energy, man. Like a fuck. our family versus yours. We, we used to, yeah, we, that definitely makes it personal. I mean, you know yeah, him. Man. So like a lot of the parents never really had it but there, but there were a couple parents that had some shit to say and we would we would we would give them a look and we'd be like hey man you fucking be careful with the way with the way you're talking right now man because you know? like he even pinned this kid. I, remember, I remember he pinned this kid and uh the kid got up and like pushed him and steven's super humble and my little brother's a fucking tank but you never he's really nice guy he's a big baby you know he didn't really want to fucking hurt nobody you know mm -hmm. so so he, he's like, all right fine you know cool you want to be a dickhead he, he raises his hand and his his fucking dad starts talking to him and I was a lunatic at the time, man. I was like full fucking gym, just. And well, you can I'm, see I'm it ready in your fight eyes. anywhere, man. So I started talking. Hey, what the fuck? You, you fucking talking to him like that? Come here, motherfucker! And, and big thing in the middle of the mat, you know. Yeah. It's just crazy. It was a good times. So. You, you were boxing. Oh, I was ready you know, at all times, right then. Yeah, wrestling. That it's, a, it's a good. But vibe. See, seeing him go at it like that, you just, it's just different energy, you know. That's why, like, when we go to the MMA fights and shit, could you imagine that? Like, you guys play football, but like, bro, imagine your job is to go. Fight. Your, your family's it's watching an, you fight. Yeah. Families your with the wife, other families. Your wives are there. It's right? an individual fight. sport. And one, the, one of the, the other wife is like, beat his ass. And you're like, oh, fucking. And we're the in the other. crowd, like, like looking say? at that. Like, yes. Wow, this is really it. Huh? Once Crazy. those gates close, bro, in that octagon, like, got it's, the pin it's in the you fucking versus cage. one other person. Dude, that it's Alex Pereira fight, the Alex Pereira fight that was supposed to be McGregor Chandler, the face off he had with that Croatian dude. For five minutes, they just stared at each other. Yuri. The best stare I've ever seen. Have you met that guy? The Croatian cat? Yeah. No. 
Oh my God. I met Yuri with Pops, you know, and he goes, uh, Yuri Bohakovich. I go, oh, Nick, nice to meet you, man. He, he goes, uh, Paradigm Agency. I go, Oh, that's your agency? That's cool, man. Yeah. Well, I've, I've, oh, that's uh, Connor's thing, right? And he goes, uh, uh, Paradigm Agency. <laughs> and I said, That's right. Yeah, You're right. You fucking I said, man, it's really nice meeting yeah, you, bro. Yeah. I'm going to agency. I said, I no way, man. Oh, there's the big dog. Hey, what's up, Connor? Hey, what's up, Connor? What's up, man? Hey, how, how are we, man? Door, but kind of scared me. Like, oh, what's going on? Mizzou wrestler. There he is. We were just singing your praises. You're oh, on the bro, base screen There right he now. is. That's when he won the yeah. state championship, I think. Something like that, right? Just fucking hands back up. Back to back, Steve. I'm him. I'm him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was, yeah. Uh, that was teams, our team was like cracked. Was, uh, Remember when you won the states, though? It, it was against that kid that was talking a little shit. You, you had to put him down? Yeah. His mom was crying. Yeah, I was, wild. I was getting like cussed out. I like, was wait, chanting, was cry, 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 <laughs> cry. <laughs> How bad you beat him? I, I don't know. I don't remember. 4-2. 4-2 two, two or something Also, like it was that. a match. It was like, yeah, yo, these two heavy, different big dogs though, are coming. Like, remember heavyweight? Like, it's never. Oh, yeah. yeah it's like, whoever just like gets a little, takedown like, wins. Yeah. Or, yeah, who gets to toss them over under. Yeah. Like, get an over under on somebody. Yeah. Like, it's that kind of thing. So, I don't know. Stevie was an animal, man. I remember, like, I remember <laughs> it was so weird when he was a kid, too, because he was the sweetest kid, man. He, he's still, like I say, he's, he's the nicest guy, you know, and, and uh. He's not like me. I'm a fucking dickhead. But him, he, he's the nicest guy. And, and you never know it. And, and I remember when he started doing this shit, he'd go to these tournaments and he he's this cute little kid. Cute as kid. You know, my, you know, our grandma's there, you know, and we're all hanging out. Man, he's laying on, on grandma's, you know, and, and then he goes out there on the mat and he just pin, 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 gold, gold thing, you know, and, and he comes back and. He puts he puts his head on on grandma, you know. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on, man? Just so figure out who switch, you are. Huh? Yeah, you gotta yeah. flip the switch. Figure man. it out. That's man. awesome. That's what it's about. Yeah, yeah. Put well, your head on grandma. Out. We grew up in that era where it was like uh, uh, the Palmers. Do you remember the Palmer brothers out of Ohio? Logan Stiber. Of course. Stevers. Yeah, yeah, Stevers. Yeah, the Stevers. That was like kind of Cody's <laughs> Cody's age and generation. The Palmer brothers. Their dad was an absolute psychopath. Like, if they didn't tech, if they weren't teching kids at, in Tulsa and everything else, like. They were getting motherfucked on the side. Yeah, like the yeah, Palmer yeah. Bros, they'd be. Cry I remember That's Colin crazy. crying because he was like the nice. magazine, but he was like yeah. the cat who won everything. Yeah, and they He's didn't Ohio necessarily State pan kid. out near as much. Yeah. Nuts, Lance, Lance, I think had a better career than look Colin. At that. Did. Colin was look at like that the, arm, bro. Yeah, right. Yeah, bro. They were. That was a different family. Some man. parents just. They're, they're not. They're not doing the job. I mean, they're just. They're just. Look at uh, Ferrari's parents. Yeah. I mean, what? Yeah. Right. Craziness. Yeah, it's a, it's the wrestling world. It's a different culture, man. He's a little wild. He's a little wild for sure. I don't know anything about wrestling. I've wrestled Will three times. He's bodied me every single time. <laughs> really? Bodied the well, fuck. That's all you me. need to know. When I was a kid, <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I was a kid, I saw one video of some kid getting slammed and snapping his elbow. Yeah. And I was like, I'm never fucking doing that. <laughs> that sounds like the dumbest thing ever. Do you have like the but rest? How much did you weigh in high school? Fucking, you're looking at it. Really? Two fifty. Well, this is my senior year. I was like yeah. two fifty four, two fifty five. God, you but blew, before you that, blew I was like, up in, in I think my event. freshman year of high school I was like maybe 200 210 so freshman year sophomore year would you put on about 30 yeah i just kind of i guess so if i was like 210 was i was Gittleson? like 10 15 every year with mike oh you're talking about college yeah college was mike barwis that was oh, my coach for the first okay, year okay, i yeah. played my retro freshman year at 285 in the yeah. big 10 i was like tiny holding on for dear life i played adrian claiborne ryan kerrigan jj well actually didn't play jj but he was on our schedule um oh man that was cameron hayward nuts. Bro, I was I remember my freshman year being like, "This is insane. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is the Big Ten, yeah. and it's like first round pick, first round pick, first right, round right. pick." There's a Buchanan, a kid from Illinois. Yeah, he was, was nice. He was nice. He was a first round pick. Played against him too. I remember thinking to myself, "Great, great my, experience." By the time you graduated, what, what did you weigh? When I graduated, I well, my sophomore from my retro sophomore year to my senior year, I was right around that three hundred, and then yeah, yeah. to senior three ten. Yeah. Jesus bulk, man, bulk. just bulking, yeah, dude. Just wake up in boy. the morning, go to um. Was it wasn't Peter Pie? It was Pizza Hut. There was a Pizza Hut like downstairs in the common area. In the morning, I would, well, no, criminal. I would go in the afternoon and get like uh, okay. Alfredo pasta with chicken, yeah. chicken Alfredo pasta. Smack put it that. in the fridge and then wake up at three in the morning. Smack it. Go back to sleep. Wake up at wow. five thirty. Go get the workout. Throw up. Get a big shake. Go to class. Just constantly eating, dude. Constantly. Yeah. It was nuts. Bell's Pizza. Look how different. Bell's Pizza for the boys, dude. Oh. You yeah, get a twenty four pack of hams. <laughs> you get a twenty a warm twenty four pack of hams in college, and then a oh, slice of Bell's Pizza from the blue front. Can't beat it. Yes, that one <laughs> right across on Packard Street. Yeah, dude, that was 
Oh, is that you on the right? That's me. My... <laughs> it's unrecognizable. It's <laughs> unbelievable. That's, yeah. that, that's Craig Rowe right there. Yeah, we yeah. In high school together. That's yeah, super tight. Yeah. R.P. the boy Craig, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, Taylor's glow up is like, it's got to be a top three. You've had a nice so glow up, bro. It's, so odd it's strange. Back. It's strange how the bigger dudes skinny out, like when they get done in the league, because we, we, you know, like Uncle Mark. Yeah. You know, we have an uncle that played at U of M. He was an offensive guard or tackle. Guard, yeah. Yeah. He was. He was just same thing. Three ten, three twenty. Yeah. Better. Dude. Is that better? Oh, Love your old man. He's great. You, you just see it just in his eyes. I know. I know. He's a like, nice That's case, a dad right? that I know very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> our, our dads would get along great. <laughs> yeah, right, trust, well, yeah. yeah. trust me. Trust me. We interrupt this episode to bring you cars.com. Your car is one of, if not the most valuable asset that you have. And knowing how much your car is worth will help you when the time comes to sell. Your car could be worth more than you thought. And if you're thinking about a new car but not sure if it fits your budget, be sure to check out cars.com and their market value to see if your trade-in might be worth more than expected. Thinking about selling your car in the next couple of months, your garage, your garage lets you see your car's value up to 60 days in the future. So you'll know if selling today gets you a better deal than a few weeks from now. Track your car's value on cars.com. Back to Nick Merz. Hey, so when you uh, get cut, from the seals mm -hmm. is that you already knew plan b was going all into streaming i was trying different things throwing darts at the board you know why is that because gaming hadn't really taken off at all okay. you know and that we just we all knew that well we kind of assumed that it just was never going to okay and i was playing gears of war at the time and it was on that mlg pro circuit where you could go to a bunch of big tournaments and you could you know if you're good enough you can win a bunch of money and you might come out okay. You know what I mean? And we were. They kicked it off the pro circuit. And that's when it was like, we woo, we woo. Like, we got to do something with our life now. Because there's nothing else out there. Okay. And that was when I did the SEAL thing. And then when we had failed. And I can't, when I had failed. And I came back. I was doing community college. I was part-time at a, at a powerhouse gym. And gaming. Just with the boys. Like, for fun on the right. side. And we didn't have anything to grind or get after. But then Call of Duty had come out with... Um, Call, Call of Duty Ghosts. So I bought that, played that, and I started playing these little small tournaments on the side, and I'm streaming them. And my viewership starts going from like 20 people to like 80 to like 100, and then like 400, 500 people. And now I'm starting to have this little, this little soiree in the in. I mean, at, every night it's a it, it's a fucking party. I mean, I got 500 people coming in there. We're playing tournaments, man. We're locked in. We're doing the energy drinks. And that, that, that was the true beginning. I mean, I had been streaming before that, but it was only for fun. When I had 500 people in there and the industry was starting to turn a little bit, like there was more fire on it, there was more cash coming in. And I was in, I was in community college, man. I just did not, I, I, I was just doing it to check the box. Like, yeah, I'm trying to do something, dad, you know? And I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Right, get how, the old man off my ass. Yeah, how did the, the industry start to evolve? Like, w was there a, a platform that, that came out at the time was it because i remember when i think it was like 2018 2019 when i felt like uh roger saffold kenny vaccaro they started yeah. to like invest people started to have yeah teams. kenny vaccaro started a company for all gaming that's stuff. what i'm saying yeah. I, I forget what it's called but J educate jack, us on how that all started jack and the we looked it up too sure jack and the boys keep bringing up tyler and Hinja. big big shout out to him man because I, we'll talk about him in a second but let's let's back up because this was great for gaming and it catapulted gaming to where it is today but gaming was already on fire pre this. I mean, in my opinion, and I can give you some stats and you might you might be like, damn. But when we were playing Call of Duty, like I got that 500 people in the stream every night, you know, that was Call of Duty Ghost and AW. What was happening was the technology was getting better. So what we're doing here, like the podcast stuff, like you remember the podcast boom? Mm -hmm. Now everybody's got the mics and we're all talking about shit. Like kind of like that with gaming. Like it started to become super accessible to be a streamer, to stream. So everybody starts doing it. And then everybody starts trying to create content. But only so many people can actually go and play these games at a high, at, like we actually compete, right? Like these, these, these guys just fucking suck. And have personality, I assume. That too. A lot of the people that are so good are, 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 are like talking to a fucking wall. Like there's just nothing yeah, there. Right. They got that touch. So I'm in this weird little area where I'm like, okay, you know, I got, I, I, I have my personality, and but I'm also fucking cracked. 
you know, so so my so my viewership is I just can't going. Wait to start saying that, now. <laughs> dude, yeah. dude. My, I mean, that was a big couple years, man. Call Call of Duty Ghosts into AW. No, sorry, Call of Duty Ghosts into uh, yeah, into into AW into Black Ops Three. What's AW? Uh, Advanced Warfare, Steve, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Got you. Got you. Got you. Just, Duty, just like new Call, Call of Duty games are coming out, and we're playing them, and the viewership is just growing because we're just we're winning tournament after tournament, and it's getting crazier and crazier. And it gets to this point where, you know, you got like two, three, four, five thousand people in the stream every night. And you got like 10K people paying you X amount per month plus donations. I mean, now you're scooping, you know, you're doing like 100, 200K and you don't even know how the, how the fuck you got here. You, you're just a kid that was playing games. You're good at them. You win. You're passionate. So they're in the stream being entertained by it. You're, you're thankful for that. You're now I'm, now I'm finding ways to give back. Like we're doing giveaways. We're doing community tournaments. Like, Hey, listen, you might be a smaller streamer without an audience. Okay. Like a smaller podcast group. You bring the small podcast guy on your podcast and your podcast gives him great exposure. Right. You just, you just hook them up. Mm -hmm. So now I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing a bunch of stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, at that point, that's when Fortnite came out. And I mean, I was already averaging like 5,000, 6,000 people in Fortnite drops. I had never played a BR. And a BR is where like, you know, the gas closes, everybody for themselves, whoever is left alive at the end, you know, gets the win. Um, and I didn't play a BR because, you know, PUBG was out, H1 was out. People were playing that, but that wasn't for controller. I'm a controller. I, I, I fucking can't play keyboard and mouse. I'm just ass. Mm -hmm. uh, but Fortnite had come out and I hopped on it real early because I was just super excited to play a BR. And dude, it was just, it was, it was just a good decision in hindsight. I mean, the game just fucking blew up and Tyler's a big, a big, you know, um, catalyst of that. And I hate to sound dumb. Tyler's ninja. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's a good, he's a good buddy of mine. Me and him go way back. Yeah. And like me, the, me, the, me. He's like one of the first streamers as from like a cat. Like I don't, I don't know anything about the streaming game, but that's like one of the people that were like the face of streaming, right? When he was, was the really face of streaming because up. of like the streams that he did. Like when this game took off and took gaming to a whole new, like just whole new, he, he was the guy in the front that did that. But like, look, he's up here. All of us are down here, but I'm in this bitch, man. I mean, I was, I, I was yeah. doing my own thing, low key, like really nice. I mean, that those, those, those 5,000 people were 20 K 30 K fucking moving, man. Um, but he was up like hundred K, two hundred K streaming with Drake. That Drake stream had like eight hundred thousand people in it or some shit. Mm -hmm. Wild man, you know those, 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 are, those are those are things we never thought we'd ever see. When you're doing eight hundred K or three hundred K people streaming, what kind of money is that? I like had two streams in the history of my career that went over four hundred thousand viewers, and I mean, like you do you do eight hours of that with ads and subs. I mean, do you're you're legitimately making. In a day, you're making like 20 to 50K. It just depends on how many ads you run, mm -hmm. how many people sub. You Fuck, know, man. That's yeah. insane. How did it? We didn't know what to do, bro. You, you, you guys might understand because like you got in on the podcast thing and like, you know, you got to build it up and you understand from that point. But like your people and the people that tune into your pot, like they were there, you know, they, they, the football has been a thing for a long time. Like gaming is just, it's like some trailblazing shit. Like th these last 10 years, we've seen gaming go from this to that. And it's like really, it was just hard to digest and take it all in and how to move. Like you gotta, you know, you can't really go to anybody like, Hey, how, how do I do this? They don't fucking know. Yeah. That's what I want to ask about. Like how, as you're becoming a streamer or as you, you know, you're a video game guy. You love streaming. How did you learn how to start building a business out of it? Because I assume that's really, I assume that's really hard to do. Like, again, you got, you're probably going to have young kids now that want to know how to do it. How did that start to develop for you? Like, you're like, okay, I'm getting all this money, like building content, like having the cameras. It's going to sound crazy, man. But I think when people focus too much on the business side of things, even maybe in podcasting too, like you guys got your thing you're doing here, you're with your homies, you guys are all real passionate about this stuff. You're on your bus, you know, like this feels good, man. It feels like grassroots, like fucking let's go, man. We started from here. We're just fucking slinging it, you know, right. like when you lose that, it, it, can, it can get weird quick. You know, you, you got to remember that you were that kid playing that, call of duty in your Here's room at 2 a.m and you got to hold on to that so like the, the creative business thing like yeah i see where you're going and, and you're right it is a business but like my first foot forward with anything is not 
truly ever about the business. It's more so just like passion, you know, like if I'm into something, then I'll do it. You know, like I didn't come on this podcast for business. I came on the podcast because I like you guys and I like football and I, I like our conversations. I like our relationships and I thought it'd be fun to have a conversation, you know, that now I'm not going to be ignorant that this could help my business. There could be people out there that tune into this that, that will now tune oh, into for me sure, or, yeah. or, or, or back and forth, right? So that's good. And you shouldn't ignore that. You know, you should put a percentage of thought process into that. It's just, you got to be careful with how much you dump in there. But as you're developing and people are wanting to sponsor you, are you the one having these conversations? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I have a guy that takes care of a lot of that stuff too, you know, but we talk about it all the time, Justin, you know, and he, he uh, he's my agent. Um, you know, we're real particular about who we work with, especially nowadays, man. You know, I mean, now that I'm a father, you know, the companies I represent, the people I want to do business with, you know, it's it's not as open. You know, I got I got, I got a little kid. I got to, you know, I got to I got to play my cards right. I can't be just partner up with anybody. You know, I got to make sure it aligns with my views and how I see things going, you know, the direction I want the not only this country but this planet to go in, you know. Yeah. Right. I got another one if you Go ahead. I was going to ask, mm. explain this Twitch universe. Are you, are you currently banned on it? No, I, I did get banned, though, for saying a derogatory term. I, the ter you want me to say the term? Tranny. It was tranny. You know, and, and, tr and truth be told, I, I really did not know that that was ever used as a derogatory term for those people. Uh, I really didn't. I know, but it's just... You're so you're so well spoken, and then you were obviously in a hairy, like watery situation. Yeah, and you're like, I just don't. You just want to say the right thing here. Yeah, you do. You know, I think I've stopped caring as much about what people think about my opinions. You know, I, I believe the things I believe, and and I, if people ask me, I'm going to share those things. I'm confident in them. You know, I'm always eager to learn more and to explore the other side of the coin. Um, but at the same time, I strongly uh, disagree with all of that stuff. You know, I think it's inherently unhealthy and it's a scary precedent to set going forward for young children to say, hey, listen, if they're feeling a type of way, they can do this, this, this and mm -hmm. that. I believe, you know, through the way I was raised and now being a father myself, that there's other ways to combat that. And that um, if at the least the first thing that we should do is try to find a healthier alternative than the things that we're doing. So, you know, I spoke about that and, and th there's a lot of trans people out there and lgb people that probably think that i hate them but i don't you know the the the, the real truth is is that i i i feel bad you mm -hmm. know that they feel the way they do and i want what's best for them i just don't think that it's smart to pedal and push the things that they're doing yeah i really don't uh, i think that that's bad and, and it's been proven to be bad you know when you make those kinds of changes to your body and then you encourage them at a young age that's that's that, that is just I can't believe that we live in a world that does that. So I spoke out about that. I did use the word tranny. I did not mean to be derogatory, but make no mistake about it. I was talking shit. <laughs> so, like, I mean, I don't want to sit up here and act like I wasn't talking. I was talking shit, but I'm giving it as good as I get it. Cause uh -huh. you know, when you open up that door, I mean, you, a lot of these people, they, you know, they live online, man. And, and, and they're about it online. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> what I was going to ask. Like, trolls be, you know, be trolling. Well, did you, so, did you become more passionate about this stance once you had a kid? Yeah. I became more passionate about the stance. And I also became more comfortable speaking about it because like I said earlier, man, I think having a kid and being a parent, a lot of times you hear parents say that like, you know, having a kid changes everything. I don't know if I believe that. You know, I haven't been a parent for too long, right? But I do believe that having a kid changes the way you think about everything. Mm -hmm. So, and, and it, it, look, I, I kind of always thought this way. I just, I wasn't as passionate, right? Right, because it's not necessarily affecting or has a potential right. to affect so you. So who cares, right? Just keep it right. going. But I mean, you know, you're seeing a lot more of it mm -hmm. and you're seeing it become an issue in schools, especially here in this country. And I, I just, you know, it, if and when, hopefully someday we look back on this time and it's a lot different, I would have been super disappointed in myself that i never said anything mm -hmm. right straight up that's yeah. what i thought about i spoke to my dad about I'm, I'm, you know dad am i making the wrong decision and like yo you know business wise yeah i'm burning all kinds of cash but i'm set i'm set i'm good so that's also a different it's a little caveat in the conversation too you know you, you might ask yourself you know hey nick should you have said something way sooner you know did you hold out because the bread i mean the truth is is that i had a kid that's the truth and, wow. and, and that was a big turning point for me you know but it's definitely the combination of a lot of things, man. You know, either way, I have a community that strongly believes in me. There's so many people out there that agree with me on this topic as well. 
They're just afraid to talk about it, speak about it, because you get in big trouble. Yeah, you really it's scary. Do, you got to you got to hop around, man. Well, how, I mean, how do you guys feel about that? If you don't no, know I that? loved everything you yeah, said yeah. right there. I, I, I'm I'm interested too. Like you ta uh, referred to speaking to your old man. Like I, I'm sure it's kind of difficult to try and maneuver your words when you when you're like in a world where it's just chat online. How are people thinking about me? How are people feeling? To where you get to a point of freedom of like, listen, I'm gonna. I'm gonna let it ride. I'm gonna speak on this. I don't. Mm. I you you give less fucks about what people think. Was that like a difficult balance when you finally like kind of found that footing? Yeah, man. Like a a big a big a big hurdle, you know. Um, because you don't want to make people mad. Like I I don't want to wake up every day and piss people off. At the end mm. of the day, the guy that's tweeting me the paragraph, what he's upset. Like I don't want him to be mad or disappointed. I mean, I'm sorry that he feels the way he does about me. And I wish right. I could do something about it. And mm. like if he could really just rip the truth out of my fucking chest and put it in front of him, he would see that I'm not this enemy. Unless he wants that being taught to kids in school, then you are my enemy. Right. right. So right. I, you know, it, it's it's just this thing. It's 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 um. The logically, everything you said, I align with especially having kids you you run into those issues with things being taught to kids in school it's when it's like hey well, you're going to school to learn the things you need to learn at school right. not the thing not what you think the kids should learn but just like the math the science the history all those things and then the let me go <laughs> let me go hey and then and then it's up to us as parents to go in now instill these beliefs that we want if you're a religious cat you want to instill religion if you you know all those things because it's, it's very difficult for me to understand like my children's opinions are really like the opinions they have are kind of the opinions I have and that they've heard. And so they just feel that way as well. So right. like it's, it's a, it's a, it's just hairy when you start messing with kids and not allowing them to develop and grow the way you want them to, it just becomes more difficult. It, it gets more difficult to like stand by and just let it right. happen. Right. I struggle with that all the time. Yeah, man. And I mean, you know, people, people like to say that, uh, Oh, you throw you throw being a parent around. You throw being a parent. You know what I mean? Like it, anybody can have an opinion, even if they're not a parent. And I I agree with that. I just think that there's a perspective that's gained after having your own kid, which I'm sure you guys can agree with, right? Yeah. And it's just, you know, it, 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 you know how impressionable your kids are, and you know how impressionable your kid is. You know, it, it's like I I know as well. Like when I do stuff in front of my little boy, you know, he does it back, and, and vice versa. Like we play all the time, we hang out all the time, so we know how impressionable these young minds are because mm -hmm. we were young too man like it, it like dude it, it, it it's just not it, it doesn't make sense to encourage these kinds of things when we know how kids are when you, know? you get banned is this somebody from twitch reaching out to you let them know, letting you know that yeah you're i get said banned? that i said that and they banned me for how long did they banned me for is a week? One week yeah i found out when i was on the way to see you guys in vegas no shit yeah I, I, it was like three in the morning and we I woke up to being banned. I was like, okay, you know, I didn't really care, man. You is know? there not like a like some strike system or anything? It's just kind of there. Usually is, man, and I don't have any strikes, but I will say uh, they take that very seriously at Twitch. You know, like look, I mean, Twitch and just the gaming world in general is very pro all that. So I'm kind of like a dinosaur. I'm off on my own, you know, land. but you know, my community, I was going to say your audience, they, they're, they, the, I think the majority of them align as well, but there are, but there are some that have not, and they've spoken about that, you know, but it was is that, it is. now was that, and I'm sorry for being ignorant about this. Was that when you were like, we're going to, uh, we're going to boycott call of duty. I never called for a boycott. I never that said was that. the audience though, they, right? They, people but, were just but, doing what people duty, do. Right? Yeah. I never yeah, yeah, said yeah. like, "Hey, don't play COD." You know? It has to yeah. make you feel good though, knowing your audience is like that. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, it's crazy. It's like the internet though; like, it lives for two weeks, and then it dies. It's weird. Yeah, you know? it's yeah. very strange. That's, that's another thing that people need to realize. Almost too. like a fart in the wind yes. on, on the internet, bro. It's when strange. things are good, it's like, "Hey, this in a week, this will be gone." When right. things are bad, you think the world's coming out. It's like yeah. this is going to be over in twenty four hours. It's going to be something new there, but something new about, bro. Always something to bitch about, you know, or be happy about. It's it goes up and it goes down, man. You know, right? But that. It was a big moment in my career, man. I mean, I mean, I've never been in trouble like that. I've never been in heat like that, mm -hmm. I guess, per se, you know? And uh, I think currently today, I feel real good about it all, man. I'm very proud of myself that I said what I said. I know it's not an easy thing to say. And uh, as time goes on, I'm getting I'm getting more and more confident speaking on this. I've mm -hmm. done a lot of research, man. I really, I've spoken to a lot of people on both sides of it too, man. I think ultimately we all agree that we want, that we want what's best for people, you know? And, and me, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty healthy gamer and that's where a lot of this comes from, man, is just overall health. You know, like, do you take care of yourself? Is this taking care? You know, I sign off on every fucking stream, every YouTube video I do. I say, take care of yourself, take care of each other, 
Peace and love, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean that. Take care of yourself. And is that taking care of yourself? Cutting off pieces of your body, taking fucking drugs that are horrible for you, your mm -hmm. mind and your body. It's inherently, no matter how you spin it, a very unhealthy thing to do. You know, and, and I, I, I just can't, I can't sign off on that. Right. After the week ban, what's your relationship with Twitch like now? It's okay. You know, they, they understand there's going to be different uh flavors on twitch you know yeah. yeah but at the same time man if i had to guess there's some people in that office who really don't mess with me but it's, I, like look i look i i don't have any weird shit in my heart about it you know yeah appreciate you speaking on it too like, yeah no yeah. i don't mind at yeah all. you do a good job no doubt there was the uh the doctor I, in the notes here that Sherm gave me doctor disrespect yeah you, that's a that's you a tough so, one right now too man i'm not gonna lie to you it's a tough one and you obviously know him personally good dude i know him i know him I know him personally. I, I do. I mean, we met in person twice, briefly, mm -hmm. you know, and we've played a lot of games together throughout the years. Um, there's this, people think that we're like best friends. That's not true. You know, and then people also say, oh, they only gamed a couple of times. I mean, that's not true either. We're somewhere in the center. Like when he texts me, when he used to, he would text me in character. Right. You know, like the doc does what the doc wants. It's like, yeah. it's all right, man. <laughs> How about that parlay for Sunday, yeah. though? You got anything to check in? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the truth. You know, and when he, uh, when all this stuff came out about him over the past few months or whatever, you know, it's been real hard because the internet hates, well, the gaming world hates a guy like doc. They hate a guy like me. They hate a guy that represents family, you know, being a dude's dude. You know, the, uh, the, you got to dance to the beat of their drum. Right. And we don't. We just don't. So he, he, you know, when he, when that stuff came out originally, everybody just immediately jumped on board with canceling this guy. Let's get this guy the fuck out of here, man. Stat. I mean, everybody did. And I everybody was, who hates him, when you're ready to see somebody fall and they start to fall, you right. want to take, you every, see, you you see take little, any narrative possible to, to put this... Dude, see a crack in the arm yeah, and you get after it. You know, pedophilia and, and underage stuff. I mean, that's a slam dunk, right? Yeah. You know I mean, so so the, the internet went crazy. But this was before we had not a single ounce of proof. All we had was an ex-Twitch employee that had said that this was going on. We didn't even have a comment from Doc. You know? It, so people are like, oh, Nick... How come you don't text him on the side? Motherfucker, I, I fucking did. But he couldn't tell me anything because he's bound in this big suit with, with Twitch. So you can't say anything. Mm -hmm. And he, he he sent me a text saying, I can't really say much, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. So that goes on. The internet's canceling this guy. And everybody, because the trans stuff just happened, everybody's like, oh, Nick, how about this guy? This is your boy, huh? I'm yeah, why don't, bet, you, why don't you have a strong stance here? Exactly. I, I go on, I say, listen, man, I understand what people are saying. Let's wait till we get some facts. Let's wait till we hear what's actually going on. And then and then we'll make a decision. I was one of the only ones that fucking did that. Everybody else just jumped to conclusions. Not right. me. And let's put a, let's put a time out real quick. Sure. The way you handled it, maybe the most logical way to handle it, right? Someone accused somebody or something. You would think. Instead of just being like, right, judicial system. And it's before but that's not guilty. the way the internet works. And I don't, and I I, I could be I could be all. talking out of my ass right now because I actually don't even know the the full context of the situation with Doctor Dis Disrespect. But any of these things, you look at and you're like, all right, like we talked about Deshaun Watson earlier. One thing comes out, you're like, let's get the facts. Right. Another one comes out, you're like, all right, let's get the facts. We start rolling down a little bit of hill. We're like, all right, out. now we yeah, understand. Yeah, maybe now the doctors, they, they, so I want to say like that is a a great logical way of handling a situation like that when you're being thrusted into essentially something that's not your business. I mean, in any light, when somebody says this, that a person did something, you can't just throw them down the hill. You got to prove it, man. Mm -hmm. you, there's got to be something there. Anything, something. So I waited. Too, you're not. And I got a bunch of shit for waiting. Everyone's like, fuck you, man. Speak out on your boy. What the fuck? I mean, I got, I got railed on, on social. But I was the only one that didn't. So I waited. Then he comes out with a statement. Are you? Do you guys know about that tweet? Yeah. So this Can guy comes out. Pull that tweet up. Pull, pull a tweet. So he comes out with this tweet, and, which is now deleted, by the way. It's this tweet of like a bunch of different paragraphs, and it was the worst tweet that I have ever seen from somebody in trouble. Not only was the original the worst. Get this. This motherfucker edits that same tweet like six times. <laughs> he edits like key words out of the tweet, but you can go back and see the original tweet on the fucking thread 
So there's no point of editing it out if you can just see it. With right. The, yeah. So he's just making this horrible. So this comes out. Me, Tim, Denny, we all get together. That's like, fuck, man. I can't believe it. And he, and, and he admits in this tweet to talking to somebody inappropriately who was underage. Now, let's just make sure the whole bus, let's get a timeout in the bus. Timeout. Hard timeout. A bunch of dudes in here. Respect we, the we all, Everybody agrees that if that's a case, it's done. It's done. No matter how it, I mean, if, you, if you're if you speaking inappropriately with a fucking, with an underage person, it's done. For me. You, that, But that's, that, that's me. Done. I don't care what the fuck it is. You guys agree? Everybody agree? Agreed. Yes. Anybody don't agree? Agreed. All right. So, like anybody else would in this bus, I go on there. Everybody's pressing. The whole world's pressing me, right? Because Nick can speak out on trans stuff, but when his own boys with the under eight, right? Okay. I go on to Twitter. I say, look, facts came out, basically. You know, this sucks fucking ass. We didn't know about this, obviously. Um, and we're going to cut ties. And we don't condone or agree with any with anything like this. They're not happy with that either. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the, why are they not happy with? Because they, like, oh, so you can go hard on to leave the kids alone, shit. But when it's your boy, it's just like, oh, you're not happy about it. What the fuck do you want, man? I said I don't condone it. It's disgusting. And, and cut all ties. And, and we're cutting ties. Done. So weeks go by. This guy deletes that tweet, and then says that it was all a joke. And he just was, he put out that tweet as bait to see who his real friends are. Oof. Yeah. So, so we got his you. community oh, that's reactivates. Oh, oh, oh Nick, no. you turn on your boy. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. You know, and that's his whole fucking thing. When like, we know that's not true. I mean, he sent a text to me, Timmy and, and clock as well saying like, Hey boys, I'm sorry that, um, this, I'm sorry that you guys are in this. You know, I wish, I, I, I wish it wasn't this way. I apologize, you know, for that. And I mean, he, he never, we, we don't really text like that, like crazy. So, um, but putting that aside, man, like it's enough for me, you know, to, to cut ties and I, you know, uh, the situation sucks. <laughs> Dad in the back. <laughs> Fuck that yeah, motherfucker. Well, he feels some type of way. Cause we met him, his wife and his daughter at the Super Bowl. You know I what know, I mean? I'm with you. And he, and, and you. I, I got all, I got all of his fans on my dick. Like, yo, what a, what a fucking great friend you are. Yeah, bro. You meet his wife and his daughter at the Super Bowl and then find out this 44 year old dude is sleezing around with some 17 year old, you know? And we already know he cheated on his wife. He went on the stream and admitted that. And it was around the same timeline as all this stuff is coming out. It's like, dude, you know, like get fucking real, man. You can't win with these people. That That's what I'm realizing. Like the internet is the internet. It's going to internet, you know, you, you do, you do what you do. You st- keep your fucking nose forward, stay out of trouble. Keep it popping. Be real. Yeah. Be fucking real, man. Too many motherfuckers are fake. Not only in this world, but especially in the gaming scene, man. A lot of two-faced people. They they pretend to care about things they really don't care about. Mm-hmm. You know, this shit's fucking crazy. Stock stuff. I mean, that's that's so fake. I mean, look, the guy gets on stream every day in a fucking costume. So I, 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 I guess it makes sense, you know. But what the fuck? <laughs> Playing a character. Playing a character. Well, I'm bitching about him being fake. He's 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 fucking. Look at him. <laughs> Hell of a mustache. Yeah, Hell I mean, look, and look, you know, look. I'll throw I'll throw his community a bone, you know, and I, I will say, and it, it shouldn't it shouldn't go without. I mean, I. It shouldn't go without saying, man. I mean, what he did for the streaming world and gaming community as well. I mean, that's one of the, the biggest entertainers online in the history of the industry. Forever. I mean, for fucking ever. Mm-hmm. His production, the work he puts in, his next level. But you just can't do things like that. And, and, and to say that your friends are expected to stand by you as you make those kinds of mistakes. And when these are the same friends that got kids of their own, man. I mean... It's not like me and Doc are like you two. We don't live in the same town again, the same fucking bus. No, man, this guy's in California. I'm in Florida. We play games together, but he's in a fucking costume and speaks with an accent. I mean, we're not really best buddies here, right? Right. People were mad about that too. That was playing down the relationship, but that's the reality of the situation. Well, I think too, it's like, you know, up until that point, it's like somebody in the streaming community, you see him as like one of your boys, not like best friends or nothing like that. But when something like that comes out and you're all the facts are now, you you ultimately want to believe the best in who you're kind <laughs> yeah. of seeing at first. And then yeah. when it's not, you're kind of like, that fucking sucks. I feel kind of dumb 
that I got looped into that and believe in this yeah. and that. So uh, yeah, yeah. It just all around it is, it, it's a shitty situation. Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, it's hard that, to, that, you're that, not going to win. That's the truest part is that this situation is just shit because he's claiming that Twitch was after him and there really might be some truth to that. Like they didn't like him and there were some contractual things that lined up that make sense with his, with, but, but at the end of the day, he admitted to doing what people were saying that he did. Right. And then edited the tweet seven times and then deleted the tweet, bro. We're done. Say we're done. Yeah. You know, you, you we're want done. To Say we're done. We're done, man. That's it. Yeah. It's a tough deal, man. Or hot topics today on the bus, man. We're hot yeah, hot topics. topics last 20 minutes, hot topics. We can we can pivot. We're gonna this episode to bring you Draft King. T D Tutty taking it to the house in for six, whatever you call a touchdown. One thing's for sure, touchdowns matter more at DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of the NFL. On the ground, in the air, from the special teams or defense, we don't care how they score them, we want to bet on touchdowns. And DraftKings Sportsbook is the number one place to bet touchdowns. Ready to place your first NFL bet? Try betting on something simple, like a player to score a touchdown. Go to the the DraftKings Sportsbook app and make your bet today. Ready to do a touchdown dance of your own? New DraftKings customers bet $5 to get $250 in bonus bets instantly and get one month of NFL Plus Premium. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code BUS. That's code BUS, B-U-S, for new customers to get $250 in bonus bets when you bet just 5 bucks and get one month of NFL Plus Premium only on DraftKings. The crown is yours. Get back to the episode. We, we got some oh, uh, good, we got some twisted chilling. questions. What do you hold on? I want to know okay. what do you enjoy more? Sports gambling or playing cards, playing Baccarat? Blackjack, Blackjack with all you that and the stuff. boys is unreal, man. It's a fucking Have time, you won huh? each time you've gone out there? No, no. We went up the first well, one. Well, no, killed last the time one. I saw you, you had killed. a good you were, first no, round. No, I thought you were murdered. No, we did the first time. Yeah. Both of us went up. Crazy. Yes. Second time, Tunnel of Chaos, slaughtered. Tunnel of Chaos, like a fucking man. Pig, you know man. who is one of the more impressive human beings just putting their nutsack on the table? Exposed. Is that exposed? Yeah, he's a, Cody, great, he's man. a great guy, too. He man. is a lunatic. Because me, man. like, you what, know. That I, that he sent you the other night with Lions? Oh, brother, he, the way he sports cables is crazy. He did him on 500K on the Lions to win. He, the Super Bowl, I'm pretty sure he won $800,000 on the Super Bowl. Betting the Chiefs. No, that was the MMA fight that we all went to. That's right. There's a story behind that. Super quick. He he put four zero. He was trying to do forty k on a parlay, and he added another zero. Put four hundred k on the parlay to win eight hundred. And he he hit it, and then they wouldn't let him change it. And we he wrote it. it out. We wrote it out, and it won. Yeah, I'll insane. never. Insane. I'll never. Just insane that. the way he operates, and yeah, then when we're when we're playing on the table too. Like when I play solo, or I don't have obviously I don't have Dana. Yeah, my numbers as far as big way bets lower, go yeah. way way lower. The, yeah. Actually, the biggest bets I was ever doing was you, me, and Cody that one night. Yeah, we messed when up. When we were out, just wanted to win ten k, get a we slice of pizza. Nope. Couldn't fucking do Couldn't it. Couldn't get the pizza. Couldn't get, Couldn't the, pizza. get the pizza. We're just trying to get ten k, then pizza break. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we two hands, never, five five k hand I pizza never break. Had a slice of pizza the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> and they were sitting right behind us too. Right, sons of bitches. Yes, yeah, it wasn't even good. Yeah, it's good times. though. it's good times. But this guy, Cody, man, he will go out there solo. Just him and his boys and play, yeah. and I just, I and he's awesome dude too. It's like Dana, about good man. guys. Like some people are just, they, 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 I don't, they I just play hard. I can't lose a million. It's like I mean, I can't lose a million to Vegas. Well, I heard, I heard the same thing about Aiden Ross, the way he goes about his gambling. I've been, we've obviously been around him. Yeah. In that setting, I've never played with him, but apparently the kid puts massive amounts I've of money down. XQC. I don't know who XQC Exposed. is. XQC is one of the biggest streamers in the world. Can you for pull a long up XQC? I think I, if you saw his face, you'd probably know. The him. streaming, the 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 follow me around streaming thing. I just I'm I'm I haven't fully wrapped my head around that. What do you mean? Like the re, like um who's the Neo? Then is that Neo? Neo. Neo. Yeah, Neon. Like he's oh. always, like he's like constantly streaming himself. And, and like, hate the no kid, disrespect. Hate the kid. No, I no hate dis- the kid. I don't know. No, him I, hate the kid. I had one interaction with him. <laughs> and I thought it was fun. We're out on neon. Dad's gone. He go. He goes around. Yeah, he's out. Yeah, but he's gonna leave right now. Right. He goes around with bodyguards and purposely. He's like purposely provocative. And then yeah. when it's ready to happen, the bodyguards come in. and say That bothers day. me. That and he, he just can't, that, that UFC oh, fight we yeah, went to really yeah. problematic. That though. UFC fight we were all at last time. Apparently, he was like talking he about he's gonna, he's gonna try Trump or something like that. And then yeah. he gets to the gate. Yeah. And I'm all, I could be fucking this whole thing up, but they don't let him in. Well, there's a new era of like content creation, and mm-hmm. you're seeing it. Like that's what you're seeing. It's this like anything for some clicks and 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 clips Mm -hmm. and like when i say anything like he literally threatened trump's life outside of the ufc like you can't 
Right. Like what? And then try to get in the UFC. What? The, like and you're, yeah, you're on happen. the floor as well. Right. It's, it's a lot yeah, of that, man. The guy's like, just. I, I will. I like this neon guy. I met him one time. Shook his hand. You he, met neon? I, I believe so. Yeah. Steve gave me a watch because me and Dana got him out of a pinch one night. We played. We got his money back. The next day, he gave me a Rolex and neon. If I'm saying that correctly, was there. Oh yeah, I was like, hey, he's like, hey man, great to meet you. You seem like a really nice guy. Boom, boom, <laughs> wipe my hands and I left. So my one experience I've had, fine, but I don't like, I don't like how these cats are ripping around with big black security guards. That's what I'm saying. And they're fucking, they're, they're being provocative. You know, they're like they're fucking hate that, man. They, they're really trolling. They're that. essentially being the internet out in the real world, but with protection. Yeah, there's gotcha. a couple of those so guys. They get people spiced Aiden, up to where they want to yeah, beat their Yeah, and then people want to try them, and then all of a sudden the security guards come in. It's important. It's important to note, though, for your audience. Aiden Ross is not like him. Yeah. See, uh, here's what I'll say about Aiden. I've only been around him a handful of times. We saw him in my uh, Miami, and I've seen him a few times before. And I was like, "Hey, man, we, I don't think we've officially met." And he was real cool in that moment. The times before that, he'd always kind of walk in the room with his crew. Not really say anything, so I didn't know what to think of him. But yeah. the t- one time I spoke to him, I was like, "Oh, this kid seems like he well, he's you got know it." What's weird, man? Like with NFL and like pro, who's this kid? Who's this kid players? right here? That's the Jack, white kid. That's Jack. He's one of the worst. He does the same thing, right? Yeah, him, I saw him and Neon are horrible. They're both horrible. The point I was getting at, though, <laughs> like pro ball players, you know, like you mm. guys live a life that's really interesting in a way, in a lot of ways. But something that's kind of hard to deal with is getting. Uh, popular and getting fame so young like you're yeah. mad young and all of a sudden you got all this cash you got yeah. all this fame how do you deal with it and you see guys in the nfl struggle with that every year right well streaming is getting to the point now where kids can do this like a pop-off stream can set a kid up for another a, a huge year and then all of a sudden you're this kid and, and if you don't handle it right if you don't have parents <laughs> that and people, so i mean that's funny fucking crazy. the way you Dude, say it, it and then he's ridiculous. just right there like I, mean, I don't the matching care. T-shirt. Like, look, I don't care. You want to flex, you flex. But like, it's just the things they do. Like when they're provocative on stream, they're going around. They're being disrespectful to people that don't even deserve it. Like, you know, his father should smack him in the head for that. You know, because if I did that, I, he he he'd beat the hell out of me if I did some shit like that. If I go up and screaming, like I saw some other guy fucking screaming at a little kid. Like, you just can't. You don't do certain things. You know, with great power comes great responsibility. Spider Man. Yeah, great. Oh, yeah, I love it. It's great, great pool. Great pool. You know what I mean? Um, I just. It's a new age. It's a new thing. It's becoming pretty popular. And these kids got to be careful, man. He's Which, got a massive I mean, that followers. kid seems like a loser. Yeah. He is, man. He really is. It's the... But you know what? Like, it's hard to fault him too, though, because now the success is so is so prevalent. So he's in this mode. And he's cooking. Right. He's fucking cooking right now. So so now, how do you tell a kid like that that's cooking and he's making all this bread, putting. His, I'm sure he's putting his mom on, his dad on. You know what I mean? His, I'm sure his parents are probably fucking proud of him. He's got a good ecosystem around him, right? So, how do you slow a kid like that down? How do you say, "Hey, the way you're acting is ridiculous"? He go, "What the fuck are you talking about? Look at this Ferrari right here." Yeah, it'd, I mean, it'd, it'd be it'd, hard to, to it, teach him. A it'll lesson. it'll catch up to him at some point, and that's and ultimately it's, it's like true. you sit back. How, and how like, old is this kid? How old is he? Does I don't he, know. What's his name? Jack. Jake, his name Jack? is Jack. I think. Jack Doherty. How how old is this kid? Probably. I mean, dude, the he's things, young, man. The I think you he's like 18, the, 19. I, mean, I really don't know. The things you do young. when you're young. Right. I, I look back and I'm like, too. bro, I, yeah, if yeah. I would have. Jack right, and I were having this okay. conversation. Uh, Jack and I were having this conversation when we landed in Michigan was you always think back like, man, if I could go back to high school football or college football with my the mindset and the understanding I have now, like, man, that'd be so fucking sick. Yeah. And then you reflect on some of the dumb shit you did. And you're like, man, if right. I just didn't fucking do those things. The problem is with these streamers who have their entire life on tape is they're going to be 30, 40 years old and look back, have kids, try to teach them a lesson, and then they'll be like, but dad, you yeah. see this right no, here. That's a right. good point, but, but but you are right. It's just part of life, right? Be, being a dumbass kid, and we all yeah, were, man. No question. And I don't want to sit up here on this podcast and, and make no mistake, man. These guys all know that we were boneheads, but, but I think the point that I'm trying to make and the point that we should... The, the, if you If you're in a position like this kid is, you are now obligated to act a certain way. That's it. I don't care if you're young. Same way you get in the NFL. Right. You got to flip it on. It, yeah. I don't care if you're a little ass kid still. Because these guys are, man. They're, Dog, they're mad be young. so hard. Just this one video we're watching right now, him popping the champagne with the girls. If you're 18, 19 years old, how do you this not think gonna I'm listen, living This kid will listen dream. to this and he's going to fucking die laughing. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 retarded. Yeah. Said, look at these old right. fucking guys. But trying you're to teach right. Me there will be some day right we'll look back. And, yeah, you know. I mean, it, it catches up to everybody at yeah. some point. You can just tell this kid's never been in an Oklahoma drill. 
he, oh, yeah, you, you know, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you can just tell some of these kids who were like, not like, raised. Truly, part trenches. of growing up is you got to get your ass beat a few times. Oh, yeah. my you God. Gotta you got to get your ass you beat get a few times. In the mouth, What's yeah. the worst ass beat you've ever taken? Oh, God. Fight, school? Probably his younger oh, bro. Oh, man. No, no. no. The 14-year-old uh, from crack. Oh, oh, you got beat up by a 14-year-old oh, last man, month? What did, happened? Oh, man. I was 19. I was boxing. And I went to Cooper's Gym in Detroit. Really bad part of Detroit, actually, too, man. I, and I'm a white boy from Dearborn. And Dearborn's kind of like... Uh, Rich. Yeah, it's got money. You know what I mean? And I pulled up. And I, I tell the guy I just want to do boxing lessons. He's like, all right. Well, I start getting, like, decent. You know? Like, I'm having some some good some good training sessions, whatever. I'm feeling myself. And I start taking a couple boxing fights. Amateur fights. They're really easy. Three rounds, two-minute rounds. You wear a big, fat headgear. You barely even feel it. You're a little nervous at first, but as soon as you yeah. get popped in the mouth at all, just now you're flowing. Well... I was doing pretty good, so I went over to Kronk Gym, which is a famous gym on the same street as Cooper's Gym, and I went with my trainer who who primarily spars there. He takes me. The moment I walk in, it's a bunch of black dudes. They stop me, they let all the other black guys go, and they make me pay them 20 bucks to come to the gym. So right then, I know it's fucking chalked. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I probably shouldn't fuck me, here, man, but here's your 20, you know? So I pay him, I go in, and I put my hand wraps on and put my shit on. And I'm with my trainer, Blue. Blue was a professional boxer. Great trainer name. It, Blue, man. He Andre. Leandre something, man. I forget his fucking name, but he he was a pro boxer out, out, out of crunk. Him and three black dudes are getting ready to spar in the big fucking ring. So I'm thinking I'm here to because I'm getting good now. That's why they brought me. Yeah. I'm, I'm fucking good now. So I'm doing my hand wraps and shit. And uh, long story short, they're like, yeah, you, you're not sparring with us, man. You're sparring with them. And they point over to like what would be like a fucking kid corner. And there's like little kids. And there's this kid there who's like 13, 14. And I, I thought, I mean, I thought, I'm like, no way. I'm like, blue, blue, come on. He's a little ass kid. And he goes, look, right, look, you do good over there and you can come over here. I go, if I do good over there, I'm like, all right, man, fuck, you know. <laughs> so I get, so so the, the bell goes on, man. I got, I got, I got $200 gloves. I got my fucking... My boxing shoes. I got my fucking nice Grant headgear and shit. Man, I got all tight with my mouthpiece in. This kid had Hanes socks. The white was gray. The, 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 it was the white and the gray, but it was all gray. They were dirty <laughs> as hell. The toe was coming through the thing on the front. And he had a headgear that couldn't click with gloves, no hand wraps. And you're thinking they put me with this cat. I'm going to fuck this little motherfucker up. You know what I mean? So, so, I, so we started sparring and shit, you know? This kid hits me with a couple jabs off the rip. Like, do do do. And I'm like, what the fuck? I lock in. Doof again. Like, Holy shit. I'm, try, I'm trying. And I'm thinking in my head, like, what the fuck is going on, man? I'm trying and he's hitting me. And uh, I remember there was a point where I was up against the wall because we weren't in the ring because in the kid corner. I'm up against the wall and he was hitting me. And when he was hitting me, he was going, he he was going, ah, ah, like, like a little kid screams. Ah, ah. He fucking hated me, bro. I didn't even know he fucking hates me. And I mean, he's hitting me in my wrist. He is beating the shit out of me. <laughs> I, I slide down the fucking wall, like in real pain. And Blue comes over and he goes, how you doing, man? And, and, I, and I, I'm like dying. And that was a real eye-opening moment for me. I'm like, I, 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 I called you. I'm like, yeah, I think I'm done with the boxing thing, man. Yeah. Oh, he, he kid retired you. Huh? He retired, he retired you. Oh, no, no. Th this kid went on to be a gold glove champion like four or five times out of Detroit. And then he went to go fucking, he went for uh, Floyd's team in Las Vegas. I forgot this fucking kid's name. He was all right for a little bit, but he, dude, they pump him out over there, man. Really? But, uh, part of boxing is being hungry, man. And that kid had a different hunger in him than me. <laughs> He screams, <laughs> shots at the body. Holy hey, shit! I got fucked. I was hilarious. nineteen. Got fucked up by a fourteen year old. <laughs> God, the humbling experience. Humbling. Experience. Hey man, I'm a lot of things, man. But I keep it a pancake with you always. But I'm gonna be real. <laughs> <laughs> I can be a douchebag, man. I'm gonna keep it real though. That was the worst. That was the most degrading beatdown. The worst beatdown I ever had was with, was with my my childhood buddy when he picked that fight with the two kids in high school. They they beat the shit out of us really? real, real bad. Yeah, they they he my my uh my bigger buddy started. He was like you. He was really big, and I was really small. And he started a fight with some kids that were older, and I had to fight because he's fighting. Right. Yeah. He and he there. started to lose, so I already knew I was losing. So I just gave my best <laughs> shot. Dude, they beat the fuck out of us, man. Hey, that's a huge move, though. And they broke, in, my, you're gonna they lose. broke my Haro bike that I spent $400 cash on. No. My silver Haro bike. Oh, my God. It had pegs on the front Good and the back. Good on you, for though, for going bases, in for man. your boy. You hear me? Knowing you're about to take yeah, that. Yeah, I heard you with the pegs. Yeah. Man. Yeah, two pegs on it. Getting it your did, ass on the beat. front and the back. Makes you, man. It really makes you a better human being. Getting your ass beat a little bit. You need bit. it. You need it. Gotta have it. You can't do stupid shit and not pay for it, you know? Yeah.
No yeah, fucking doubt. Speaking of painful, remember when remember when you got in the fight after the game? I wasn't gonna bring this up, but you brought up fighting. Remember when that guy fucking popped you, dude? I thought you were gonna it kill was him during the game. You talking about Michigan State? No, nah, bro. You were on the tight. You were on the team, right? When remember that hit? dude popped him? So what, Josh Norman? So I, I popped know. him, like swung on him, like swung on him. Yeah, bro, he hit the arrow. That's right, the arrow, yeah. and then he swung on you. Yeah, he, oh, yeah, yeah he, like, he like tapped me in the back of the helmet. That was a. Uh, you I looked think, at him. I thought you were gonna eat him. This this is the <laughs> this is the funniest clip because it's brought to me everywhere I go. Well, I, I had never no forget idea. The bang, and he's like saying, "Bop, what, bop, that bop, again, you, bop, bitch, bitch, your fuck you, bitch, I fuck you up, bitch." Your greatest clip. This is probably I know. Thing I think most this is the most popular clip of yours. Honestly, yeah. That and little pat in the helmet, that one got me. I was that you, one made you me want to turn it? around. You're about to do it. Yeah, but the good thing is, is Ben was there because I. <laughs> you really shot him with an arrow, but that's hard. To, I don't know how to like stop. You were once I get kind of fired that's some up. Fucking, uh, that's some, we had a situation this weekend. Who does that in UFC? Oh. Uh, Patan. Yo, you were head. Well, with that the, was Josh. That was Josh's. That was his move. The so Nick, I mean, um, Josh Norman was also the guy that Derrick Henry stiff armed the life out of him, and there was that viral photo of him like getting flipped backwards. Two right years when he played for Buffalo see, on a that? different team. Yeah, I don't remember that. Same guy. Outside. Fourth and oh, uh, third and one or second and four. Fucking, this, fucking, yeah! Oh my little little boy the first, shit right there. Derek, you got to get the first on that, buddy. Go get the first. <laughs> Oh my God. I, uh, you see, you see me come alive at the end of this clip. <laughs> There's your Are boy you coming off the bed. Yeah. Oh, five, three, let it go. Popped up, bro. <laughs> that game was nuts. Yeah, Josh never had a good time with us. The reason why I've told this a bunch of times, but the reason why I went over to Josh at the end of the game was because he was trying to hurt Derek in a four-minute drill. You, you and that Man, fucking what, put it down. Just put it down. Busting with the boys. Hell yeah. yeah. You can have at least that. it says that you got to take that with you when you leave. Yeah, right. It but wants yeah. to go with me, man. But yeah, dude, getting your ass beat. I had a situation in middle school. There was this kid. Uh, I can't even remember his name, but I ended up like hitting him, knocking him out. Damn. And uh, was he this did... over that iPod? No, that was a different one. <laughs> and this kid, so the kid goes to uh, the teachers. He goes to the teachers, and he's and they were like, "Hey, what happened?" Blah blah. He's like, "Oh, nothing. A book fell and hit me. Like he didn't snitch or oh, anything." Oh shit. So nothing really came of it. I just went you to class. Kind of and nothing kind of happened. And then in fitness class, we had this big loop. Is Desert Canyon Middle School? We had this big loop. You'd go around like to warm up before like gym class. Mm -hmm. But on like one part of the loop, there was these bathrooms. You'd run around the loop. So this kid was in the same class as me. I started running around the loop. He's behind me, and I, I'm aware of him back there because this happened like the day before. Mm -hmm. Turn around that bathroom corner. Joey Latrell and three of his friends were waiting for me, and I kind of stopped, and they're like. Are you ready? And I was like, oh, what? And they, one of them grabbed me, put my arms behind him, and this kid came and just beat the, the fuck, fuck out of me. the fuck, man? For a minute. And not like an actual minute, but like it, it felt hurt. like a long time. Yeah, it was one of those where he was like throwing a couple shots in my stomach, and I was like, I'm kind of eating these. This is nice. <laughs> like I, for a piece of me, it was <laughs> like, okay, maybe I like, don't feel pain. And then he hit me in the jaw, and I was like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Like, <laughs> this hurts so fucking bad. Please, God, make this stop. Look at that picture. Guy, they, right? like, they like let me go or whatever, and. Yeah, that was probably the worst I ever got my ass beat in my life. That was tough. The question is, did you say are you gonna be the guy? No, that, I didn't say nothing. I are you gonna be nothing. the guy that says you never got your ass beat? Come I on, man, I didn't say you nothing. really haven't. Yeah, I've you're, been you're, in a lot of fights though. You can tell. Yeah, I'm not an asshole. Yeah, you're not. No, you're a pretty nice I mean? guy. I'm surprised, bro, because when you get tired, you can be grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> not like that. I bet, I bet Cody got some fights. Cody got in a couple. I mean, yeah, you never, like, you guys know, you just don't want to fuck with the wrestlers, bro. They're I'm, just psychopaths. Just yeah, 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 yeah. I think out of all the sports, they have the highest uh, success in buds, I'm pretty sure. Did you know that? There's no question. I'm pretty I mean, sure. Cody, oh, you go to, if you go to a wrestling house, like in Michigan, you go to the wrestling house, yeah. no girls, all dudes, Dude. bandanas on top of the head, no shirts, playing pong for about an hour, and then nuts. everybody's in the lawn. Grappling, yeah. getting it going. Yeah. These little 140 pound cats are like, hey, you want to go? And I'm like, I guess and all of a sudden you're in a fucking pretzel. On the, yeah. the worst. Hot locker, but never lined up with him. Oh, yeah. Polar Bear? Yeah, I never wrestled him. He was out there That's last crazy. year, bro. I mean, doing both sports is insane. That's Who's this? Psychopath, yeah. Uh, the Polar Bear. Who's the Polar Bear? We, we interviewed him on Spring Tour. He wasn't there. Number zero. Taylor wasn't there. He's in Mexico. Oh, got you, got you, got you. Nut, Thank nut God, too. Right? Yeah, I've had a couple on this podcast. Good save, good save. Yeah. Huge save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he he, he got done with uh, football last year and went right into wrestling. He he wrestled. How, he how, long, is this po how, how long has this been a thing? It was just like 2018? 20, 20, yeah, 2018. 
Was it 2018 or we start 2019? No, 2019. 2019 is when we met. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So 2018, 2019? 2019? Yeah. Yes. The summer of 2019. Well, how, how'd right. you guys decide to do this? Is just a conversation and then boom? Yeah, I mean. This is, yeah, I mean, the way it kind of started was we did a, a podcast together, the official Titans podcast. And we kind of had some, we had some nice little chemistry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fire. And Will brought it to, Will really wanted to do it. And I was, I was kind of like, no, it's kind of lame. Yeah, I, I was wanting to really, rip a pod like back in Washington days, I just thought it'd be sick. Cause I always listen to like Rogan and all those pods that, yeah. that, that went on. And I just always thought it'd be sick because there wasn't really any, any pods like JJ Reddick did it with basketball. McAfee mm -hmm. retires to do it with Barstool, but I just always thought it'd be cool. Like all the conversations that happened in the song and the cult up and everything For else. Sure, Yeah. And, uh, fortunately talk Taylor into doing it. Yeah. yeah. And then 2019, you guys kick off and then Barstool brings you in. Yeah, that yeah, happened. That was pretty we quick, signed right? with them in February of 2020. Yeah, we had uh, Vrabel comes on and talks about cutting his dick off for a Super Bowl. That went viral. Wow. Jalen Ramsey talking about how he would DM wide receivers, their gir their girls in college. Oh, just shit. Just to get in their head. That, the Jalen Ramsey one popped off for us. Barstool DM'd us in like July or August mm -hmm. and then flew out to sit and have a conversation with us on one of his off days in training camp. Mm -hmm. and then they wanted to stay in touch. We went about our seasons that, that year. That's when I went out to Oakland. And then when we went out to the Super Bowl in Miami in February 2020, like that's when we locked everything up and signed a partnership with them. Mm -hmm. Crazy. For, it was like two or three years at the time. Nice. And then extended with them, what, a year or a couple years two, ago? It'll be, it'll be two years in February. Yeah, yeah two years Barstool's ago. Barstool's great, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they have a great group of guys. I've been on PMT before. They're, they're so universe. easy. Yeah. They're so easy yeah, to talk bro. to. They're, they're like, like the WWE of, of media. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the different personalities. Like, they got all the shows. I know. They are. They're They've pumping, been, yeah. bro. They're fucking pumping. They really now are. Now they got they, their HQ in Chicago, which is just like a fantasy factory. You've been you out there? New York I and been Chicago. There. You gotta go out to Chicago. Yeah. That is Jerry, I've seen time. you go back and forth with Jerry. Jersey Jerry. Yeah, we, we played some games together. Jerry's this guy just funny, randomly man. tells me that he used to be a crackhead. We we were like, <laughs> yeah, we yeah were I, remember that. In, I remember that. We were loading into Call of Duty, and he was just like, hey, yeah, hey, Nick, uh, I used to be a crackhead, you know, or some shit. I was like, I like looked at the camera. I was like, what? You know, <laughs> I couldn't fucking believe it. It was yeah, the most bro. nonchalant way to tell me that ever. He's I thought he best, was kidding, man. but I'm like, Yo, this isn't really something to joke around about, Jerry. And he, yeah. he stuck it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I like Jerry. He's, he's a bonehead, one of the best. Though. Dude, Jerry is like one bully. of the best. Shout out the bully. Yeah. He's great, man. Jerry great. is a lot of fun Jerry to be around. Jerry guys. And, and he, then they have, the, there, there's another homie too, man. We follow each other. Caleb. God, he's yeah, Caleb Presley. Great, man. Sunday conversation. They got a, you guys got a good team, man. It's a good roster. Yeah, a lot of good guys. I'm bro. trying to think of somebody I, I don't like enjoy, you know? I'm sure there's some. No, I, if I you got dove, enough. If, 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 if you dove seen, deep enough, you'd find one. Yeah, there's so many, right? Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of different personalities. Some people go under the radar, too. There's Frank. Yeah, there's Frank the Tank. I've they seen, crush I've seen, yeah, I've definitely seen him on the. Yeah. yeah. I hate baseball, so me and him would never get along with really, don't think. Yeah. Hey, baseball. You played, though, as a kid, yeah? Yeah, of course. Well, Every everybody, year that's like the number one American thing to do is you got to play it one year T ball. That's like a bar mitzvah for an American. Have to, yeah. have to. Got to play a year. Yeah, that's it. That's all you got to do. Twisted. Yeah. Let's do a twisted question. What, how long has this podcast been going? Two hours and seven minutes. Oh yeah, we could probably the let's do a twisted question. Whatever y'all want to do, man. You good? Like, I'm sorry about being late, man. <laughs> no, you're good. No. You're good. We have a uh, twisted T question. Twisted question brought oh. to us by Twisted. Oh, you're going to the ad. Do you want? I was going to say you want Mitch to read it. The ad. Read the ad. No, not the ad. The question. Sure. Mitch can read it. This question is brought to us by Twisted Tea. Hard, refreshing tea. 5% alcohol. The best drink for tailgating. Summer's over. It is the best drink of fall. Get Twisted Tea. Get Twisted Tea with the boys. Go to basically anywhere you'll find Twisted Tea. The boys are rocking them at tailgates. Every mm -hmm. college tour we've been at, people love Twisted Tea. We're giving out bags. But the best drink for game day, whether you're watching at home, whether you're, whether you're watching with the boys, out at the bar, out at the tailgate, get yourself a Twisted Tea. Keep it twisted with the boys. Mitch, what is our Twisted question? Twisting, twisted question today. 2v2, $1 million tournament prize is on the line. Who is your partner and what game are you picking? Mm. I like that little mm. one mil. That's a milli, bro. <laughs> All right. Is it my? I gotta go Gears of War. Nah, no, I gotta go Gears of War, man. That's where it all began for me. That's got that's cardboard checks. That's fucking. I was a tyrant on that game. Mm. Gears of War. I go Gears of War two, and I'm gonna bring back my teammate Predator. 
we get me, Predator? Me and him. Predator's the one, not the one on the far right, but the next one in with the weird little faux hawk thing he's got going on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what he was thinking. Does that he day. still have it? I fucking hope not. That's... <laughs> <laughs> but I'll go me and Pred, 2v2, Gears of War 2, and we're cashing that fucking thing out easy money. If the, if there was a line on that, we're, we're the favorites by far. You're the heavy favorite. We used to do that. Like, that's what we did. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, it's stupid. like riding a bike. It wouldn't be hard to get back. No, in. no. Well, you know, g- give me a couple days, a couple hours of practice. Get the juice. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Juice hit a walk through with yeah, the boys yeah. real quick. Make sure Twisted T is great, man. We've done like three partnerships with them. Yeah, they're all time. They've sponsored like a couple of our gauntlets and stuff. They're fucking awesome. They to let work you with, rip man. it too, bro. Yeah. They, they don't care. I love that they don't care because when companies care too much, it like. It, it just it restricts the creativity. You can't it's say a, what and you then you're not say. you're not actually motivated to even. It's the worst. Wanting man. to continue to. They're create. not them. They yeah. they let you just go. Yeah, I love it. Tastes here's, delicious. Here's too. a bonus yeah. question: Your friend gets knocked in a two v two situation. Do you revive him or push the enemy duo? How weak are they? Are they weak? I don't know. Let's say Predator goes down. Yeah, Pred Here's goes down too. Well, if Pred goes down and we have a guy down as well, and it's just him versus me, I'm taking my one. Okay. I'm not reviving ever. What if it's 1v2? I'm going to try to do a lot of damage and get the res off quick if I can. Like okay. fucking hammer one and then take the res real quick. And if they let me get it, sweet. If not, 2v1, man. Let's go. I've done it before. I love it. I have. I seen your eyes light up too. No, I have, me man. Up. I passion have. And- the passion in that no, I have. Well, we were, I was at MLG tournament. I was in the championship. Twenty K was on the line. Me and three of those guys that were in that picture. The two on the right, right here, mm-hmm. and the one on the far left. We were playing for twenty K. It was against my buddy as well, who we play against all the fucking time, and he was really good. It was me versus two of them on this pillar. And in Gears of War, you know, you're three P, so you don't see the game from your gun. You see your whole character. Mm-hmm. So you can take the camera and you can see around things. And I'm on a big pillar. And they're both in front of me. It's me versus them. Dude, I worked that pillar like a stripper, bro. I, I was on the left, <laughs> on the right. I had them both weak. I had them stuttering. They didn't know what to fucking say or do. And I, I just shit on both of them to keep us in it. And then we we eventually came back and we won. And then we got the whole tournament. And if I lost that 2v1, we, we would have been done. No shit. I remember. I remember because we, we, we were fucking down big. I remember that when I, that when I killed both of them. Everybody turned and they they looked at me. Oh, go 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 shake go shake because you know we uh, with uh, Gears of War it's kind of like S and D. So there's like a you know you you went around. There's a big break. So we got the win on the round. Everybody went crazy. I'm high fiving them and shit. They all they look. You see the look in their eyes. Everybody believed. It was like it was like you're playing against a good football team and they got the best player and your boy lit him the fuck up. Helmet comes off. Yeah. Yo, well we can fuck these guys up, man. Right. That's, that's what it was, man. That's what's gonna happen, Michigan I Ohio love State. That. <laughs> no one's gonna believe it. Oh, oh, nah, we're not back that there. Fucking right. hit. Right. I hope so, man. I hope you so. need to turn in your fan card the way you've been talking. I just, I, I'm a sports gambler, you know. I got, I, you know, I'm gonna be. Uh, so just I gotta go, be careful betting on the boys. As a sports year. gambler, you should know you should probably shouldn't bet on the team you like. Yeah, I thought we were gonna keep it close. We got fucking railed at home. Yeah, it was hard. Tough day for the boys. It was a money, tough man. day. Yeah, that's a but you I'm make so, that catch to Colston Loveland yeah, yeah, yeah. in stride. Totally different game. No way. Totally different game. Did you, you go money know, line? Dude. Did you go money line with Michigan Texas? Of course, man. Yeah, same. That same, is one same. that you go. You believe in your squad. Course, that's a that's man. a money, money line. Grab. Grab. Yeah, yeah, it got yeah, railed. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It would have been so juiced too. Over in like the second. It was over. Yeah. The Michigan money line is going to be so huge against Ohio State. God, we're going to make so much money on that day. I'm, I'm definitely hammering it. Yeah. Are you going to Vegas this weekend? I'm going to hammer it. No, I don't think so. Sphere. Are you, you going to go? Yeah. You guys both going? Oh, yeah. No, no your boy's getting honored this week, this weekend. Don't North County on. High School. Are you really? Come yeah, on, kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Congrats, man. Congrats. You know, about you to go know. wave, wave around, hold the room. Wave around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm already in the Hall of Fame. Okay. Just getting a little. I think, there, flex. I think there's a sign, you know, first, first ballot, Hell first yes. round, right when they opened it up. Hell I yeah. need you. But uh, I think there's like a sign put up, you know, something. I don't want Compton to Stadium. Too, I don't want to say too much about it. <laughs> you guys know I hate bragging. Yeah, this you you you're having a month, bro. This I is, am having a great month. month for you. Yeah. you see that museum? Nah, that Will Compton Museum just opened last week. The bet that I did see the museum. Will Compton yeah. Day. It was a great tour in there last Thursday. Of, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of a lot of, a lot of memorabilia. Right, right. The back stall in the bathroom is the Will Compton Museum <laughs> at Barcel HQ in Chicago. <laughs> You see got a bunch of pictures of him above the toilet and shit. <laughs> yeah. Great. We'll be adding to it. Will Compton shirts, hell yeah. That is forever. 
Uh, you, but yeah, big month. Big month. For the yeah. Birthdays this month. Oh my God. I know. Oh, what the fuck? September's a great month. For September's Lokaka. a great month. I yeah. did. I, I, I did one. I did one of those. My shit was spinning. Remember that? Yeah. Lucy, he's talking Lucy. about Lucy. I put, breakers. Yeah, I put one up top and then I put what? another one down low. Uh, at the UFC. Oh, shit. Yeah. My shit was spinning. Remember that? Yeah. Good time. Yeah. It's a good time. Yeah. Fellas, when it comes to getting your hair cut, don't just go anywhere. Visit the specialists who live and breathe men's hair. And at Sport Clips Haircuts, stylists undergo special training to be the experts in men's hair, making them masters of mullets, finessers of fades, and understudies of the undercut. It's easy to have confidence in your look when you're in the hands of a pro. Just another way Sport Clips helps keep your head and your hair in the game. Sport Clips, it is a game changer. Back to the episode. No, Tear talk? No. Yeah, let's do Vintage talk. gaming consoles. I love the pick this week, mm. Sherm. Thank you. I've already got mine. Do I'm we have so a sponsor on Tear Talk? Are we good? We'll we do not. Sponsors. Are you let's familiar go. with Tear Talk? No. Tier one, two, three. If you got an honorable mention, go ahead and sling that in there. Okay. But you'll start at tier three, work your way up to one, but ultimately it's your top three. Love and, it. I'll, and also don't just name them, like paint us a picture. Gotcha. Why is tier three tier three? Why sure, is tier sure. two tier two? Vintage gaming consoles. You guys start. No way Go I'm ahead, starting. Taylor. Okay. I, I kind of don't know yet. Um, obviously, we've already proven that I'm not a massive gamer. Right. However, as a child, I enjoyed plugging it in, sitting on my ground, crisscross applesauce, and playing some games. So this is what I'm going to dive into, the nostalgia category. Okay. My tier Huge. three is going to go to the OG Xbox. Now, there's a lot. Of people like to bounce back and forth between Xbox and PlayStation for whatever reason because of Halo. Yep. Xbox was my game. I just, re I really enjoyed it. It was you're, like, it was a mind bending experience going, man, you to have Xbox there. You get the green and then the little thing pops up the X. You're like, oh, oh geez, yeah, we're about yeah, to really fucking do it. Hell yeah. Put in your little time. You're ready to go. And then do you remember Xbox connect? It was like the first Xbox live before live. They had the bar, right? No. Okay. Then no, I don't. Oh, <laughs> my that, this is that was oh, also. Tell no, me that doesn't make you get fired up. That right was there. also connect though. He's right. I'm, yeah. Okay, not so maybe connect the with a K, but connect with a C. Okay, no, it I was don't. Xbox Live before Xbox Live. That's how you know you're a crackhead. If you, if you know what that is, <laughs> you were you were a crackhead. Sorry. Go ahead. So that's my tier three Xbox. My tier two is um, Game Boy Color. I oh, think the either. Game Boy Color is that a console? Yeah, it is. It's a pocket console. Okay, absolutely. So we're you throwing a those in there. Double A batteries. Damn, I Game Boy kind of changes the game. I a had little the bit. purple see through. We can Pokemon, see all the things. Yeah, Pokemon with the weird little light, so yep. you could see it. Pokemon Yellow Link, all that, bro. Yeah, that game. You you catch a little break in elementary school. You'll be able to pull that thing oh. out of your pocket, pop it on real quick. Get that wire that was you way too elementary. short. Wow. Yeah, public school. That's the light. Way, Look at the light. Yeah, the little light at nighttime. But there was also a little cord that was probably five inches. That's way more than five inches, like seven to eight inches long. Oh. And you'd be able to plug it in, turn that cadaver into an Alakazam because you can only can evolve through <laughs> trades. Bro, you get that thing done in the sand turn that in the playground at Alakazam. elementary school. You're showing hey, all the boys in yeah. the cul-de-sac what you got. <laughs> and then my tier one is going to go, this is my God tier. And I've already mentioned it once. That's going to go to the Nintendo 64. Hmm. Maybe the greatest, like we've all been in a place where the game's not working. You have to pull it out and give it the... Yeah. Put it back in. Then it gets a little bit older. So you have to go back into the left. You have to JFK <laughs> yeah. that thing. The way you have to move it just to get the thing to turn on. Super Smash Brother, Goldeneye. What a weird Mario controller 64. to look back on it though, huh? Yeah. The, I, I like weird, those little things. Yeah, they were great, but they were weird. Dude. Right. You have to take that left hand. one yeah. fucking joystick. Yeah. Mario 64. It was just What was the greatest N64 game, you think? The best one. 007. 007 oh, was good. I mean, for me, it's Super Smash, but if you're playing... Super you're Smash playing, is a great pick, too. Star Fox, dude, was also incredible. Star Fox was good. Remember how you could fight your boys in the fucking planes? Yes. Remember Plug it Quarterback in. Club? No. Brett Favre? NFL Blitz, though. I remember that one. Yeah. Oh, but, great dude, pick. Blitz 2000. Was Blitz was... Re People love Zelda. I Zelda a whole lot. Man. Yes. And the game always had a way of like just equaling things out. If you're like Ocarina way better, all of a sudden you'd have cool. fumbles and interceptions. Yeah. It should just yeah, wouldn't yeah. go your way. Yeah, yeah. Just kept every Zelda. I never got into. I don't it's know why. Just, it's one of those games where if you gave it some patience, it's in fucking incredible. Really it's a beautiful game. You can go back and play it now. So it's still, it's still kind of fun. Weird. My wife played this game. Um, you know about it, the one where you like have a little community of a garden and oh, all that. Oh yeah, uh, Harvest Moon. Harvest Stardew Moon. Valley. Were you ever a never Harvest Moon Stardew Valley guy? Make a little farm. Oh yeah. 
Okay. Elite. And she, she <laughs> run out, run your <laughs> chores. Oh, yeah. yeah, run your chores. Fox, dude, you hit Find the Z, double tap the Z, hit a spin. All yeah, of a sudden, those yeah, bolts yeah. ricocheting you left and right. You can lock them on and shit. Yes. It's unreal. Dude, that's that, a great oh. list. N64 is definitely, yeah, it's hard to beat. I mean, yeah. Oh, so for Tear Talk, now we'll go around the room and we'll do one word to describe how we feel about the individual who just wins Tear Talk. Okay. Amazing. Thank you. Incredible. All right. And, and I, I'm blown away that you knew all that. Sorry. Thank you. Barrel. Barrel. Nostalgic. Research. Solid. Oh. Yeah. Solid. Oh, geez. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hell yeah. Hyphenated. <laughs> <laughs> Hyphenated. All right. Which one do y'all want to go? Uh, I'll we'll go, go ahead and kick it off. Yeah, yeah. Man, Game Boy really changed the game for me. Game Boy is going to be my honorable mention. My tier three is going to go to my first love of video games, and that is the Sega Genesis. Mm. I got Madden. It was either Madden 95 or Madden 96. That was the first console mm -hmm. I got for Christmas that mm -hmm. my eyes just lit up and I fell in love with video games. They would have this combine that you could do where you're tapping B and C. It's like they this boxing where you're trying to take out Evander Holyfield, uh, Mike Tyson, where you're battling him. What was that? What was that one where you're trying to, your back's like- I remember getting, you know the boxing game. About. It was incredible. They're, they're across from you in your little back and you're kind of just dodging the yeah, whole time. Can, it might've been like Mike Tyson or something like that. I don't that. know, but it was incredible. I remember Ali, Tyson, Holyfield. They yeah, were all the yeah, yeah, yeah. What was this Madden call? Is that 95? That's 96. Madden 96, but that is when I, I fell mean, this in is love. Where Madden, this is where it began, man. Fell in love with video games. Yeah, yeah. My tier two is going to go to the PlayStation 2. When you could, you know, that's when you had memory cards. I know you had it on Xbox. I was never an original Xbox guy. I was a PlayStation 2 cat. Mm. The, I'm thinking to myself, game day 97, game day 98, every year on my birthday, I would get to skip school, go to work with my dad. He'd take a half day. Then we'd go to Toys R Us. I'd get the latest edition of game day. Mm. We'd go home, and then for the rest of time, we would just play <laughs> a season with the Dallas Cowboys with each other. <laughs> And then also like PlayStation 2 is I was nice on uh WWE. Yeah. I was nice on that's when NCAA, I want to say it was like 2004 when the lights would start to shine off the helmet and you just remembered the evolution of the video game industry yeah. would start to take Things place. Things were starting to get yeah, better. Yeah, they were starting to evolve. 2004. Um, Look at that cover. Who's yeah, that? Ma yeah, NCAA 2004. Is that Matt? Is that Matt? Oh, no, no. Who who's that Palmer. Carson Palmer Carson Palmer and Bro. then also Grand Theft Auto came out yes SSX that Tricky generation. yes man Crash G yeah GTA uh, uh, right. what was it like not Supercross but it was like where they had them both together MX yeah. versus ATV Unleashed MX versus ATV that, Unleashed like just phenomenal that. video games during that generation and my tier one I share it with Taylor the, N the N64 Harvest Moon I lived and died by uh, Pokemon where you could plug that you could plug you could slide in the game they had like a little um, Pokemon Stadium. Wait, they take the picture. Pokemon Stadium. No, that's, that's Pokemon. That's I think it's Pokemon. But you pictures. could also play in Pokemon Stadium. You could connect. There's like something. Yeah, you the could memory box. On the, back, the memory card. And you could slide in your Game Boy. You were Pokemon Game Boy guy, game, bro. And you could face people with the squad you had on the Game Boy. He was a Pokemon yep. guy. Yeah, big Pokemon guy. Did Massive. you do the cards too? You got I cards. I won. I won a badge. What was the very first one with with Brock and Onyx? Pewter. Pewter City. Boulder badge. No. The Boulder badge. I wow, won a Boulder man. badge at a flea market. Back in the early days, your boy was nice. You with were Pokemon a Pokemon cards. guy, bro. That's crack. Were you I love it. And then 007 <laughs> is my is favorite. Such a funny. Oh, word. it's great, man. 007, I can't 007 was like my favorite game of this all is time. What, this is what you're talking about, where you plug it in. Pokemon Stadium, yes. And you could you could fight other Pokemon. That little N64 transfer pack, whatever you had on the Game Boy, like when he said yellow, red, blue, whatever. You slide that in, yep. you get the roster you got on your Game Boy yeah, game. You yeah, can play yeah. at Pokemon Stadium with better the graphics. Oh, were damn. Queen. Those better real? graphics. I don't yes, think I ever bro. played that. Yeah, you could upload your fucking Pokemon, bro. Yeah. All I remember is the Pokemon picture one. I thought that was kind of lame. I thought it was kind of lame. The Pokemon Snap. Yeah, yeah where you, yeah, you, you take you, a photo. You, you go yeah. around slow and try to take, uh, you know, the rare pictures. Right. Yeah, My mom yeah, loved that you. game, man. I went through a little phase. mom game to like. But that is. I Take went through a, a little phase uh, like a year ago where they had these little, like, little apps where people would be streaming like opening games, yeah. opening uh, Pokemon cards. Mm -hmm. And I bought a few of them things. Got myself some Charizards. Dude, I had OG a crazy collection and we sold it for 300 bucks. I did. Oh my God. Oh, I bet it's worth so much my now. my little brother took my card. No, when, when you wanted them. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hated the poke. He probably called him Pokey Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Purpose. You know what I mean? And, and he knew what it was called. I know. He just, you just like trying to piss you off. Like, Mom, that shit, is yeah. Pokemon. Right. Yeah, Pokemon Snap. I never got on board with that. That is my. Uh, that's my. List, that's man. my tier talk. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, tier three for me. 
I'll agree with hold you guys. On, we got words, words for what? One word, one word, word, one word. Oh, one sorry. Word. Yeah. Okay, I'll start, I guess, or you start. Go ahead. You had. Su- surprising, man. I like you. Got, I can't believe the Pokemon shit. More than one word. Sorry. <laughs> um. Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Jolteon. Oh wow! Sports. Solid. Interesting. He didn't like it. Charizard. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, you said it right too. <laughs> All right, Pops. Old school hyphenated. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Also, you guys use hyphenated to get around the one word. Yeah, yeah I'll make sure I do that next time. No problem. Uh, tier three, probably the Game Boy. You guys bring up great points. I mean, we th- that was what first got everybody into it. I used to get in so much trouble playing that shit. You'd see the light on from the crack of the door. He'd bust open that door and be, what are you doing, man? I'd have that little light on there and I'd try to cover it with the with, yeah. the, with the thing real quick, you know, and never got away with it. Yeah, that, that Game Boy, but the see-through Game Boy specifically, the one where I could see all the way that was put yeah. together, the wires and the, I just used to love looking in that thing, man. Yeah, it was yeah. cracked. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Uh, and then tier, tier two, uh, I'll probably go with... I'll probably go with the original Xbox because that's what got me into competitive gaming. And that was when people would download Xbox Connect on the PC. It was a program on your PC. And then you could play people in Halo, the first Halo around the world. And me and my buddy would load up on 2v2 Halo 1 and we'd be beating ass. So I got I got real twisted at that. And then that's tier two, but tier one, greatest console of all time. I don't think it's debatable. It's the 360. It, you got Gears of War, Call of Duty, and Halo all on that console and, and arguably all the best games from each from each one. Um, not only that, but they had the best controller of any of any controller in the history of gaming. The 360 controller was next level. And that was when you it they came out with this thing. You could make your own avatar, like a character of mm-hmm. yourself, and you could customize it. You had like a bio. I put like my placings in that then you had like a list where you could add people to the list i'd make people pay to add me because i was so good so like you want to be my list it'd be a flex you have me on the list so you pay me 100 bucks i add you for the whole year i was doing that Hustler. Scum, scummy weird shit but i was Not doing scummy. it yeah. hey businessman business, businessman business, business, business. yeah that was the dashboard bro. look at you little guy man it was crazy but yeah gears of war one gears of war two call of duty four the m the the modern the, warfare uh, the modern warfares and then halo massive halo three came out on that one and that's halo two and halo three i mean 2k arguably the best halos 2ks as well Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. I mean, you name it, it was on the 360. And it's just, it took gaming to a whole nother level, in my opinion. And the next Xbox didn't do it for me, you know? It was like a bad sequel. Like the, the Xbox three, One? Yeah, the 360 was way better than, than the next one. I don't, yeah, I agree with you. Okay. With that said, my word, horny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pro. Ooh. Legendary. Yeah. Unreal. Is that what the words? Just a winner. Cash. Cracked. <laughs> and I agree. <laughs> I faded. Agreed. You're right about the three, you're right about the three sixty. Like the hours put in on the three sixty. I mean Red Dead One. That's where Red Dead was. Yeah. that on three sixty? No, yes, no, no, no. Dude. The first red uh the first Red Dead was um Red Dead Revolver. Right, right, right. But I, that was on three sixty. Red it might have been on Xbox Red too, but I'm saying Red Dead Redemption One yeah. came out yeah. on the 360. Maybe a hey, like that series. I, I, Red Dead Redemption. Knowing, Redemption knowing all that, I might have to change my OG does. Xbox. I wanted to throw back to the Hard big nostalgia, but you're right. Like the, the Xbox that. 360 is the greatest console Dude. of all time, and the controller underrated, man. Like I, they started. Remember the next one for the Xbox is fucking huge, huge and weird. But the 360 You still argue like, with those PlayStation motherfuckers, though, about it being better. I was a guy who transitioned from PlayStation 2 to 360. It took a little time, but once I did, I saw the light. I went from Xbox to PlayStation. No because shit. Because competitive Call of Duty did. So we, we had to, or else we couldn't compete. Right. So kind of weird. I, I probably would have stayed on Xbox. To, it's just better. Way better. Mm. Okay. Hey, this been, I like this, the tears, man. This has been like an that? incredible podcast. Yeah, it's been it, fun. It's been a great one. I appreciate you guys for having me, man. You know, it's been, I, 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 the bus is real. It's so the awesome. bus is real, And bro. it shakes, man. It moves yeah. when, we, when we get hyped. This I is an that. awesome pod. Having your old man on, your brother. Yeah. Having Shout dad chime in. There. Shout out, brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. You My dad's going to be juice when we're uh, on the wrestling segment. He's going to be at home because he watches every Wednesday, <laughs> every Tuesday. 
You, your dad and his dad probably get along. Yeah, for sure. Well, there's oh, no yeah. question. Yeah, I, I don't know a man that wouldn't get yeah, along with Bill. I don't know if he'd make it out there. I'd have to. <laughs> you have to figure it out. You got to struggle with him flying, getting I tried, through the tried airport. Hard to talk him into the sphere, but can't go. Why? What's the deal? Yeah, I was gonna. I wanted to bring that back up. Why don't you? Hassan's all over me. I'm full swing right now at home, man. I'm I'm streaming a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot right now. That's all right. Yeah, I get that. Battles, we got football. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. yeah. Don't go out to Vegas how many times now? You, you know. I've been out in two months. Oh wow! I mentioned. Okay. <laughs> got that I made you mad. Tabor, yeah. things are calling, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. Literally, I was going to fly out Thursday, like in the morning. You are a Will texted me. He was like, You want to do pro football football show on Thursday? And I'm like, You got to say yes. You can't just say no. Just go to Vegas so, like so five hours so earlier. Gonna, so like, you got to say yes to it. So you have your podcast and you're also doing a new show now? The Locker Room. The that locker. is where we preview the weekend. Is that pro it's football? All... Pro football? Right? No, pro no, football. football that's yeah. Barstool. Yeah. Barstool's pro football football show. That's just strictly NFL. Oh. The Locker Room, we do both college football and NFL where we're gambling, we're making our picks, we're previewing the weekend, talking all ball. Oh, it's like I at the top that. of this episode when we kind of recap the weekend and just talked about our teams. Yeah. Last year, we would try and cover a lot more, but now we're putting everything – into the locker room, like the sports gambling talk. stuff you're yeah. putting on there. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. yeah, very cool. When we uh, when we're done, we'll show you the the studio that the set that we made. Yeah, it's, you got to turn off all the lights so it's perfect in here. Yeah, yeah. It's sick. Cool, you'll like it. But yeah, bro, this is sweet, bro. Thank you, you man. Stickers on here and shit. Too, I know bro. we've been yeah, trying for a minute, but I appreciate you. We appreciate you for you out having here. me, man. I got a lot of love for both you guys, man. And I mean, Jack's my boy. The whole crew, man. You know, you guys are you guys are fucking awesome. Keep on doing your thing, man. Best of luck. The podcast stuff is cool, man. It's grassroots. It turns me on. Yeah. Fucking horny, horny, man. Horny, 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 horny boy. That boy in that chair nice, rocked up man. right now. It's a it's a play of passion. You play you play uh, college football twenty five. Yeah. All right. You good? I'm not, I'm, not very, I'm not very good. You do me a favor before you go. You sign this helmet. Yeah, sure. Wait, is he number three? Yeah. Are we loading this thing up? Yeah. Who do we got here? There you go, bro. Appreciate you guys I tuning in. One. Subscribe, leave comments. Yes, sir. Big Show hugs, love, tiny kids. Show love. You got yeah, some real pod. ones up here, man. Real ones.